All right. This thing straight and narrow. That doesn't look straight to me. I gotta get myself a new holder. Let's get this thing nice and straight for everyone. That looks much better. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Hello humans. And any pets that are watching. No, this doesn't look straight now. Come on. There we go. Hi everyone. Happy Friday, you made it to Friday. Woohoo! We've had an awesome week here. Just by Carney. I miss you. I took one day off. We were live Monday. We were live Tuesday. We were live Wednesday. And we are live today. It is Friday, Friday fun day. We are headed into Epcot via the boardwalk, the International Gateway entrance. Kind of my favorite way to go in. If you could do me a big favor if you're coming in, please hit that like button. Let's help catch this algorithm. Send it to everybody who needs it out there. I hope you had a fantastic week. I've had a lot of fun hanging out with all of you all week. Actually had a productive 24 hours. I got a lot of catching up to do in the Discord. Shout out to everybody who joined the Discord this week. We got a bunch of new people. If you're not sure what it is, it's just a free, awesome community where everyone's kind and nice to each other. You can, you can use your computer, your laptop. All you do is just go to discord.com or download the Discord app. Make up an account. I'd recommend using your real name or your YouTube name so we can kind of keep... No, you know. But yeah, a lot of new people in the Discord. Love to see that. Today at Epcot, a lot of new things happening. A lot of excitement. Soarin' over California is back for a limited run. The AP magnets are now available. There's a Mickey and Minnie meet and greet for the Disney 100. There are four new food booths that open today for the Food and Wine Festival. For who are not aware, not all the booths open on opening day of Food and Wine. We'll try as much as we can. Lauren's gonna be joining us later on. She'll be here with a bunch of her friends starting around five-ish. I think we have some friends already in the park. We're gonna go try and find them. It's gonna be a great Friday. There's some other things happening too, but there's just so much going on. And plus just the regular fun of Epcot. Epcot is just fun by itself. Adding all these extracurriculars, oh boy. of the Wi-Fi. Hopefully the picture gets a little bit cleared. Sometimes Disney Wi-Fi is not the best. Thanks so much for being here and hanging out. I see we already got over 50 people hanging and we just got started. If everyone could hit that like button, it really does help. We got 30 likes. We're gonna to set today's goal. I mean, we hit 200 the last few different streams. Can we do 200 today? Can we do it? Let's attempt it. Once we get in the shade and get inside, we will uh, catch up with the chat and say hi to everyone. Some guys have all the luck. That song stuck in my head. I don't even know where I heard it. Here's the International Gateway Skyliner Station. This will connect you over to first stop Riviera, second stop Caribbean Beach, where you can get off and continue forward towards Pop Century and Art of Animation or Take a different line over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. You get out here and come in the International Gateway if you're taking the Skyliner over. All right, I cannot show technically Disney security. They don't like that. By the way, you can see a lot of the Disney 100 stuff. You're seeing a lot more of it starting today. 
But uh, yeah, I gotta put you out in the ground just as we walk through because security doesn't like to be filmed. See you in a sec. Go like and subscribe. How's it going? Oh, I see some open turnstiles over here. Oh, and over here. All right. How you doing today? It's after two o'clock, right? So, the black, the black okay. Did I not make a reservation? We'll just make one quick over here. At Guest relations. Gotta do our duty. I might mute if they ask for personal information, but I'm still here, everyone. But here's a guest relations experience. Hi, how's it going? Hi, everyone. <laughs> Let's see who's hanging out here. Andrew, Moogle, what's up? Jacob Herring, what's going on? Lynette's here. What's going on, Lynette? Hi, Don. I can't see all the conversation above it, but it looks like you guys are telling Jacob all about me. That's great. I love everyone helping out. I am from uh, Long Island originally. I'm living in Orlando now. Hey, Stephen Noon. Hi, Kenneth. Kenneth, hanging out from Denmark. Jacob, sending my prayers your way, my man. And uh, we're going to try and meet Mickey and Minnie today. Jamie Philippone is hanging out, leaving a like. Thanks so much, Jamie. Appreciate that. Tomorrow, Land Traveler in the house. He had a great stream yesterday. I love it. If I can't go live, boom, my man, Daniel, crushing the live streams. Awesome live stream yesterday over at Magic Kingdom. If you missed it, you should go check it out after the stream. Another great channel to follow. And he's an awesome travel agent. You can go to thetomorrowlandtraveler.com and uh, book your trips through Jake, uh, through Jacob, through Daniel. I'm reading while I uh, talk. David Long in the house. Sivak Co. What's going on? Chris, what's going on? Great to see everyone here. Colin, Crystal, Mary, Joe, Dawn, Jason, Lynette, Stephen. All right, we're gonna. I think we're next. Hi, how's it going?
We're back. We should be working. I don't know what the issue was, but she said it's all fixed. But I did see some of the chat when I was talking with her. And no, I didn't win any free nights or anything. magic there it is all right we're in there once again hi everybody thanks for joining happy friday we are here at epcot at walt disney world in beautiful orlando florida it is currently the epcot international food and wine festival four new booths opened up today so we're gonna check those out soaring over california we're gonna check that out that reminds me i gotta Heard the lines were pretty crazy for that, so we should definitely make a lightning lane. I also found out where some of our friends are. Apparently, there's a, I'm being told there's a cool little bar in Japan that I've never been to. We'll see about that. So let's go check that out as well. So we're going to start in Japan, and then we're going to do the, everything that's in the thumbnail we're doing. So we're doing Soren today. We're doing the four new booths. We're going to get our AP magnet. We're going to uh, try to meet Mickey and Minnie, as long as the wait's not crazy, or if we can book a lightning lane, we'll try and do that. Thank God the heat's coming down a little bit. We were having 100 degree days all summer long now. It's like a high in 90. It's great. A little bit of a breeze. Happy birthday. Beautiful little magic shot here. If you're ever looking for some good Disney photos with France in the background, it's right here on this side of the bridge. Oh, sounds like the band in Morocco is today. There's uh, some kind of music coming out of Morocco. Sorry for the silence here. I'm just uh, trying to get a lightning lane for Soren. We're gonna have so much fun today. If you could do me a big favor, please hit that like button. It really helps not only put a smile on my face and it's just a nice thing to do and it's free, but also it helps uh, with the algorithm. Let's spread some Disney magic, some fun, some Epcot funsies on this Friday. Passing the Brazil and Belgium booths over here on my right. a band in Morocco called it I just have this keen sense of hearing when I'm in France I can just sense what's going on in Morocco one of my favorite pavilions oh, a little shape of you
Tearing it up. Here's the grease booth. Still trying to book this. Disney Wi Fi is rough. Once we get this done, we'll get right into our normal streaming self. Fridays tend to be a little bit more crowded here at Epcot. It's kind of Orlando's happy hour, especially during food and wine. You can come and eat and drink around the world. You got all the bands and live entertainment. You got the Eat to the Beat concert series straight ahead over in America Gardens Theater. And today, with Soren coming back and four new booths, I have a feeling it's gonna be busy, busy. Let's head in the back way. So if you've never been to Kumite, I haven't either. It's a little pricey. It's right here through the store, not open yet, just as dinner. A bit expensive, but uh, from what I've heard, it's absolutely awesome and amazing. One day we'll do it. Mitsukoshi, Japan's department store right here since 1673. Obviously they haven't been here in Florida since 1673, but they've been in Japan since then. Marquita's here, hey. All right, where is it? All right, let's do it. I'm having so many issues with the Wi-Fi right now, trying to book a lightning lane. So much fun. I know, I miss it so much. I have to get to drinking too, because I slept terribly and my back is killing me. And I took no ibuprofen or aspirin, so it's screaming today. To the left, all right. So Shiki Sai just opened. We did Shiki Sai for my birthday. If you want to go check out that stream, it was all very good. I had a great time. But oh, this is the bar you're talking about. Yeah. So this is the new one they installed for the weight area. I love it. Yes, I didn't do this yet. But another bar in Japan. There's never enough. Why not? I love how clean it is, and you can tell why. The hard work. These uh, murals are awesome too. So Tepanito is Epcot's version of a hibachi restaurant where they do those hibachi, the chef comes out, cooks right in front of you, chops it up, gets crazy, has a good time. The only big difference I noticed, and I love hibachi, especially coming from New York, is here they do noodles instead of rice. They don't do hibachi rice, which is my favorite. But hibachi noodles are delicious too. And honestly, the steak, chicken, uh, vegetables, all amazing. Hey, thanks for being here and watching. Did you hit that like button yet? You should do it. You totally should do it. All right, let's turn this off my big red face. Ah! No, turn around. Turn around. So what are the drinks here? Is this the menu? Nope, this is acceptable forms of ID. So we used to go down to the garden house for our sake and the flights used to be where it was at. But they don't do flights anymore, just individual sake. They still also have uh, your favorites. Like the violet? Everyone loves the violet. Well, it's a little sweet for me, but everybody loves it. I'm just gonna get a sake. I need a beverage bad. It's gonna be my liquid ibuprofen. Ugh. Ugh. For those who don't know, I was in a car accident earlier this year and it messed up my back and neck. I got a tear, two tears and six herniations, but we're just pushing through. What? Which one, what? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Yo no sé. 
But let's go back to saying hi to people while we're waiting, because I like to catch up with some chat when I can. So, apparently, from what I'm hearing here in the chat, only three out of the four booths open today. By the way, I think I left off with Hi Mary Jo, Dawn, Jason Meckis in the house. Uh, Stephen News says the statues in front of the D100 sign on the bridge uh, to World Showcase by Spaceship Earth. Okay. Good to know, good to know. We'll check that out. The new Mickey Minnie statues. Crystal Coachman says, yes, this week needs to hurry up and be done already. What? Yeah, we'll check out the new statues. Uh, There's a new meet and greet. We're going to try and do that too. Allison B. Happy Friday. What? Oh, new popcorn bucket. Wait, let's... Can't show it in the bag. Look at how cool this is. One hundred years of wonder. All right, I don't want to damage this. Feels expensive. So, from what I'm hearing, only three out of the four food booths that were supposed to open today opened. But hey, that's not bad. Disney's shooting seventy-five percent. It's not terrible. Crystal X, when you go through Epcot, through the International Way, do you go through security? Yep, absolutely. I do find it's a little bit faster over there, though. Chris G says, how long is Soren over California running for? That is a good question. I don't remember the end date. I know it's for a little bit. But yes, it's a limited time. Disney Mike 23, what's going on? Good afternoon. Izzo in the house. My man Izzo, another great YouTube channel you should go follow. So Swirled Showcase is delayed, but the other three are open. Love it. Terp in the house, another awesome travel agent. I don't need ice cream, yeah. Driver DB says, hey, oh, I'm thinking of all the money I could have spent at the Passholder event. Wow, yeah, that was a crazy event. Uh, I actually got a boarding group to go today. I don't know if that's what messed up me scanning in. That's why you beat me. Is uh, I went to scan in, and they were like, you have to go see guest relations. I don't know. She's like, I don't know why I set it off. She's like, you're all set. But uh, I did have a boarding group to go today, but I just never did. No, I, did. I sent one, too. Oh. I, that's why I tried calling you, and then I fell asleep. So we have sake, canned sake, and cocktails. I think we should do a shot of sake. So this is what's available here at the bar outside of Teppanito, upstairs in Japan. You do the house sake, which is 10 bucks. The Ozeki Jumai. Then they have the cans of sake. And your cocktails. You're doing the highball? Yes. Wow. I definitely will taste it. Anything else good that I should try? Everything else seems pretty sweet. Do you think summer's end is going to be good? Or too sweet? Or should I just do a shot of sake? You are cocktails with Kita. You should know. Summer's end should be good, but it might be sweet, but we'll do that too. Then we have the wine, we have uh, sparkling, a white, three whites, two reds. You're pretty much standing here, you're Kieran Draft, Kieran Light. Yeah, you wanna share it? Oh, here's the pictures, beautiful. Thank you so much. We can try it. So, can we have a, can I have a highball? Love it, thank you so much. And then here, oh my gosh, so much to see. You're awesome, thank you. Class on that, on the whiskey. Just to go have the key class. And then, do you want to do a sake or are you okay? I shot a sake or are you okay? It Wait, doesn't matter. Oh, there's no alcohol in it. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Showed you with an orange popsicle inside. The popsicle. Oh, now it's the time of the sunset. Uh, in the sunset, we'll do all the No, I'll, well, nope, I'll get, let me get them. Nope. They're cocktails. It's my, my. All right, well, words. in order to justify this purchase, everyone should go follow Cocktails with Kita on Instagram, where she breaks down all the cocktails here at Disney. She's a bartender. Extraordinaire. The highball and the sunset. Um, not the sunset, the summer. I want this one. So the summer's in. The highball. The gari gari with orange. Gari gari orange. Yeah. I could. Uh.
All right, you post it. Thanks, Marquita. All right, where did I leave off saying my hellos? Izzo says, are we doing some uh, car bombs today? I mean, we can. Who knows? It's going to be a long stream. If that's what you want, Izzo, that's what you get. I'm not sure which Wi-Fi service Disney uses, to be honest. Uh, but we switched from Wi-Fi to cell. I was on the Wi-Fi to start, and then it was fuzzy. So I switched to right now where I was on my cell, which works pretty well in here. And then my other phone, which I use to book lighting lanes or to check messages, I, remote, I finally remembered to bring today. It's the old iPhone. So I'm using the new one to stream, but the old one is where I book everything. So that's how we get on stuff. I know, it looks good. I'm excited for you. So yes, after two o'clock, you should be able to get right into the parks. I don't know, I just had an issue, but she said she took care of it, and then that was all good to go. Rita Oliver said, I'm a first time watcher. Hi, Rita, welcome in. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully you're still here. Captain Kirk, what's up? I love new people hanging out. You gonna take pictures? Take your pics. Ooh, so this drink's got the popsicle in it. Love that. That's gotta be the summer. So this is the summer's end. This is the Nagori Saki, the strawberry, apple juice, and a splash of citrus juice. This is the Gari Gari with the orange. Yep, you're good. This is These are yours. Dan, what's going on? And then the Toki Highball, which is the Suntory Toki Whiskey Soda and Yuzu. Ooh. Oh, boy. Look at all these beverages. All right. Well, let's get some Strauss. Super good highball. Can I try a sip? Ooh. Oh, oh boy. That is gonna cure that back pain that you might have. Holy moly. That is something. Sweet, sassy, molassy. That is good. Anyway, hi, Dan. Great to see you. Crystal says, need some what? Divorce it? Oh, that? That's good, too? All right, I'm excited. Let me try this. Oh, that is good. That's refreshing. That's just the right amount of sweet. That's like the top of my threshold for sweetness. If you're new to the channel, I don't do super sweet stuff, but that is good. That is the Summer Zen, which has the sake, the strawberry, apple juice, and a splash of citrus juice. All right, and now let's try the popsicle drink. I'm excited. This is the, how do you pronounce this again? The Soshu? All right. I, I mean, look at me. Fluent in Japanese. All right, let me try this. Ooh, that's good too. That's cl clean. Which two do you want? All right. All right. Where are we going to drink these? Are we going to stop? Or we we should stop. We could, I mean, we could do either one. What should we get down to two drinks? Okay. We can just go.
I love that. Who doesn't eat a sake I popsicle? Just get the popsicle? That would be fun too. For those who did not know, here in Japan, you can just come up here and hang out on the uh, balcony. A great place to watch fireworks at night. Luminous, uh, hopefully, will be deb debuting on December 5th. I know there were some issues with the music we heard about. Let's put this down for a second. Do my last minute chat catch up here. Okay, so See who I missed. Melts, the it yeah, I mean, I was going to say the more that melts. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. Also, I'll give you some uh, fun facts. If you're new to the channel, I love to get fun facts out here at Disney. Hopefully you didn't know them, but if you didn't, uh, now you can share it. But this statue right here is one of my favorites. So Walt Disney was a big world traveler. Loved traveling around the world. Loved uh, exploring different cultures and places. This statue, when he opened Walt Disney World back in the 50s, was a gift from Japan that he that they gave to Walt Disney for good luck for his park, which is, I think, so cool that he had that kind of stature where Japan just gifted him this amazing statue. Anyway, make a long story short, when they were opening Epcot, the World Showcase, uh, they knew they were going to have a Japan pavilion. They decided to move the statue from Disneyland over here, and this sits here, and most people don't know this, but this was a gift from Japan to Walt Disney when he opened Disneyland back in the 50s. There you go. The more you know. All right, where was I? I was so close to catching up with everybody before my next big walk here. I was right around. The chat disappears so quickly, so excuse me, everyone. I'm sorry. I think I have three new favorites. Those were all really, really good. Really good. Peaches P is here. What's up, Peaches? Peaches. Driver said, did any booths close? No, I don't believe any booths closed. Yes, honey what? Bee. Honeybee closed? Why? If I'm not mistaken, it was not open yesterday. Oh, my gosh. We'll have to investigate this. Don't said a bar we don't know about. How is that possible? Yeah. I did. I So I didn't realize that that was the bar because Marquita said secret bar. And I was like, what's secret bar? But I knew they put a new bar in for the waiting area. I just never gone to it. So it was our very first time going. And another great option here in Japan. So many bars here in Japan now. It's wonderful. But let's keep it a secret. Yes, always. Grasshopper, happy Friday. Moogle, what's up? Crystal said, I just checked the app. Sword of California, 60 minutes. Yeah, that's why we're trying to get a lightning lane. Still not successful. It's I've gotten totally pretty close. Worth it. I know, I can't wait. We're gonna, we're totally going to get there. Quentin Jones says, just subscribe. Thank you, Quentin Jones. Appreciate that. Patrick Welcome Julian. I love the Joneses. Patrick Julian says, good afternoon to Pete and the rest of the crew here on the channel. Yes, love it. Karen Haywood said they were jamming. They were jamming. What? Oh, yeah. Let me do my old thumbprint. This one doesn't have the face ID. My old iPhone. That's a, an antique. It is. It's uh, going for big bucks. Let's try signing in again. The new trilogy. You can tell which ones I drink versus which ones Pete drinks. Still not? All right, yeah. I'll let you try. I'm trying to get onto the Wi-Fi and then book this. But I'm also so close to being caught up with the chat here. really want to do that. I want to give everybody love who's here. Because I appreciate them. If you guys haven't hit the like button yet, please... Help me out. Hook a guy up. We had 125 people watching, 74 likes. Let's let's hit that 100 mark right away. I love it. We have so much fun ahead of us today. It's going to be an amazing stream. Disney Mike said we need some carny magic. Oh, we got it. Uh, a lot of people say hi, Marquita, Peaches, Dawn, all saying hi, hi, hi. hi, hi Shelly's hi. here. What's up, Shelly? Gail Gatling, great to see you. Good afternoon. Okay, fun fact. Uh, no end date for Soarin' Over California was given. That's why we didn't know. There you go. I'm sorry. Uh. Let me see your thumb. Why do you need it? It's open. No, it's not. Austin! Austin! There's this really cool thing called timing out. Oh. I'm just trying to get on the Wi-Fi there. Huh? Dang. Every time I take my finger what? off the screen. Here, I'm going to go over here so I can give this guy room to take a picture or yell.
Oh, it, I had the two apps open. I just need Wi-Fi to connect, and then this, and then... Oh, the Wi-Fi's connected. I just can't get to the app. Jason's from Ohio, Izzo. Jacob, I already got you covered. No worries. Trevor, what's up? So just getting ready for the first day of full cleaning <laughs> while listening to the stream. I appreciate that. Thanks to everybody who just leaves the stream. I, honestly, I really do appreciate it. Love seeing it. Doug, great to see you. Park Wi-Fi probably overrun. I know it's missing. All right, I'll just go to a booth. I'll just go to a blue umbrella. Dawn says, I love the bunny mural inside. Yeah, it's awesome. Carissa's here. What's up, Carissa? We're going to try and see Mickey Mini today. Don't worry. We're going to do that a little bit later on, though. All right. I think we're ready. Colleen, what's up? So great to see you here. Andrew in the house. Love to see it. Mike Graney here. Look at all the Northeast checking in. I love it. Kenneth, I love it. I love your comment. Disneyland will never be completed. It will continue to grow as long as there is imagination left in the world. Walt Disney. That's right. That's why I love all the changes. It's just fun. We're having a good time. We keep adding, I always say, more everything. Redfish Robotics, what's up? No worries. You don't have to apologize for being late. You can always rewind and check it out next time you're here or later on today. All right, all right. We're going, we're going. Weather or low, what's up? Oh, we got to keep walking. Grumpy, what's going on? Michael Clark, what's up? Yes, my streams are full of Boston and the Northeast. I love it. All right, let's keep it. Let's get a move on. We're caught up. We're caught up. If I missed your comment, you can always drop it again. What? So much better. So the popsicle is melting. So this drink evolves. Oh, that's so good. That is like. That is so good. It's like. Like, just brings me back to my childhood of popsicles, but then, like, as an adult with the sake is amazing. Pardon, so sorry. All right, where are we going? You're a boss. You're the boss. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's go that way. You lead the way. All right, we'll go back that way. Ryan, what's going on? Checking in from Ohio. Bill's checking in. Oh. Japanese drummer's about to kick their off their party, but we'll come back. We'll see them later on. We've seen them a million times. We love them. Lauren and I always joke, like, we love walking in and hearing the drums in the distance. They summon us. That's right. <laughs> I'm hoping she's napping because she's coming later on. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, I hate to say skip the garden house, but skip the garden house. Yeah, these drinks are really good. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's because the first one of the day or because I haven't had some drinks in a while, but these are delicious. Who am I saying I haven't had drinks in a while? Yeah, I mean, when was the last time we had some drinks? What? We didn't drink uh, on Wednesday stream. We didn't drink on Tuesday stream. We didn't Monday. I had oh Monday. I had two white claws during the stream, but that was it. It's not really a drinking two white claws. They don't count. Yeah, come on. We haven't drank since we ran into Cape before he left. It might have been what? It, wow, who am I? Who am I? Here in Morocco, if you go uh, towards the back where you meet uh, Jasmine, they have a sangria bar. We'll show you that later on, I'm sure. Right now we're trying to get as much done of the new stuff and then we'll be doing laps later on. This will be a longer stream today. I'm going to be live for a while. We'll do a full lap around the showcase. What? They have to sell a popsicle The popsicle is officially off the stick. It is gone. That was delicious.
<laughs> Happy Friday. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Weekend, straight ahead. Although if you're anybody out there who like me who works weekends, I hope you have a great weekend at work. But for most of you, I'm sure you get the weekend off. Whether you have some fun plans or not, enjoy it. Soak it in. Yeah, if you're local, Marquita's bartending tonight at the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. High Tea Downtown. Oh my gosh, it's Belle. Oh, I don't know how to say my pleasure in French, but my pleasure. Look, there she goes. Bonjour. 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 Oh boy. The last of the popsicle drink. Oh, that is good. That is some high quality H2O. That is fantastic. I, no doubt, that is really good. We're gonna not jump in the background of this photo. We'll go the long way. Do 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 ba da 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 da. New merch. What? What's the second thing you said? New Crocs. New Crocs. Oh, snap! We, have, we may have to fireworks it tomorrow. What a merch-heavy week. New merch. We'll go check out the new merch today too. We might have to what? Fireworks it tomorrow night. What's tomorrow night? Saturday. But there's no party, so we can finally do all the fireworks. Oh, but it's Saturday night. I have to see what I'm doing. I though I, I do plan on being in Magic Kingdom tomorrow if anyone's in town. I'll be there in the middle of the day. You know, the hottest there. point, no worries. <laughs> in the middle of the day tonight. I might or might not soccer mom math it and have a soccer mom team with me. Love it. Love it. Uh, we got I know Pete McDevitt will be there. I know my buddy Mr. Dave will be there. I think we might have a possible Tomorrowland Traveler sighting. You may have a possible Guest. Possible special guest and cocktails with Kita, possibly. The band's rocking over here. I hear them. Are you staying or going? I'm walking. Okay. I bought myself some time. Yes, 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 yes. Because it's my fault that you're late. What? It's my fault you're late. No, it's not. I did a boarding group for you this morning, too. Oh, it's okay. I, mean, I don't know what it was. They just they were like, you got to go into guest relations. And she was like, do you have your magic band? And she's like, yeah, I don't know why I did that. But she's like, let me just check everything. Let's see. So you're to go. Look, it's like HHM with the new crew's coming in. Look at all these new bartenders walking in and servers. So exciting. The band's rocking over there. <laughs> We're all connected. Oh, Alice is here. She's got a little bit of a line hanging out. That's fun. Command performance rocking out in the back. Actually, you know what? Look who it is! What's up, boys? Look at this trio of handsome men. What's going on? You just finished the set? How'd it go? Did everyone hear you? Oh, no way! For those who missed our stream when we visited Piano Rob, uh, he was basically just singing over a mic'd piano. Did you see one of his earlier shows? It's just as if like, it's like they, yeah. Well, I mean, the, it was good. You just have to sit really close. Yeah. <laughs> We, it was, I guess, a sing-along. Everyone had to sing for the music to mean something, but... 
Rob, uh, to select days here at Rose and Crown Pub, and you could definitely see him. He'll be here tomorrow, but also he's, uh, I was going to say, tonight at Boathouse and tomorrow at Boathouse, right? Tonight and tomorrow at Boathouse. Yeah. And then here tomorrow as well. Come see Piano Robert. Or if you want to really catch him, go to Bobby Keys. You know what's so funny? Someone left a comment from that stream, like, love seeing Bobby Keys at Rose and Crown. Roberto Ivories. Yeah, <laughs> Roberto Ivories is the real, that's what I Google. Or I was gonna, if you really want to see him, just go to HHN. That's where you could really spot Rob. Yeah. How's everyone else? How you doing? Good, man. We're live. We're just hanging out, doing Soren, four new, well, three new booths. Uh, a lot of new things today. We did three of them, obviously. Yeah. How are the booths? Anything you say avoid or must do? For those who don't know, yeah, char and chop. Yeah, I was excited about that one. Wedge and whatever. I believe it is called wedge and whatever. I believe that is the actual wedge and whatever. Actually, gives Disney a lot more room just to put whatever they want. Okay. The secret one, bubbles and brine. Yes on the crab claws, no on the shrimp. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I'm here for the champagne. And Marquita's here for the champagne. For anyone not knowing who these wonderful gentlemen are, they are actually were all uh, live last night, Thursday night, WWNT. Jake behind the scenes. We love sexy Jake. Rob, obviously Bobby Keys on the piano. And Eric, really just the man who just uh, does, if any joke is funny, Eric wrote it. <laughs> we got to see Jason on a live stream this week too, and Caitlin, it was fun. We saw them at the uh, merch event on Wednesday. Did you get over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, I got a boarding group for today. I just never got over there. But the deals are just crazy. It like a TJ Maxx in there. It's a flea market. It's a flea market. Yeah. I'll see you later, bud. Great seeing you. Go see Piano Rob at Boathouse or Rosen Crown. Yeah. Dinner with Rob sounds great any night. Uh, anything else that we should know about? And how are you guys? You guys good? I know it's weird when live. Right. Everything's the same every day. I saw that, and then I thought that he moved here because he put on his post, I love hanging out with my new employee or my new, like, uh, like oh, teammates. Oh, okay, that's awesome. So I was like, oh, maybe he moved here, and I messaged him, but no. He's going through chemo. He's still going to be back in Kansas. I wasn't sure what the sitch was. Sure, like a year ago uh, this week, or no, a year ago. It was uh, in two weeks. We yeah. Kansas. You know what's so funny? I was going through videos that are halfway edited. Me and Eric went to Kansas last October together, and I saw that video half edited from back then. Uh, we had a great time. Game. Yeah, we went to the uh, what was the KU? Uh, yeah, college game day it was awesome. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I like the Olasaki. Yeah, it's where's falling your, apart. Where's your better half? Uh, better half is arriving at five, and she's bringing all the. Uh, no, she's off now, but she's bringing. I think there's like four or five burn boot campers coming together in a watch out. Oh, no. If you just see a group of women break into burpees, it's them. You want to see a cult. Yeah. You know what you'll never see me, Jake, and Eric doing? A, a, a set of burpees in the middle of Epcot. Yeah, no. <laughs> Do you? Nice. You look great. You look great. I was thinking about you the other day. I was going to text you because I watched this crazy, I don't like, so, I think it was a documentary, but I mean, it was very conspiracy theory ridden of uh, Guantanamo. Yeah, and I was like, I gotta ask Eric how much of this is true. Um, but off air, sure. off air, yeah, off air for sure. All right, we're gonna just do a little lap. Are you guys here for a little bit? No, we're you said Oh, wine boo. And yeah. uh, wine and whatever. There it was like, meh. There were a couple things that's good, but I mean, most of them are different iterations of the same dish. I'm talking about the, the vegan sausage. It was good? The chop and char. Was chop and char. You said everything was good there, right? That's the one I was most excited about. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. I'm just gonna try some things. Hey, bud. Great seeing you. Great seeing you guys. See you later. Oh, Marquita's still talking. Let's go try some of those food items. By the way, thanks for being here with me, hanging out. I know we're taking our time. We're getting there. Love it. Happy birthday. Good day. They were in the 
I see we got 150 people hanging out, 91 likes. Let's go. Smash that like button. We got to pass the 100 mark before the hour. Let's go. We can get we can get eight likes in six minutes. I'm gonna get a straw let's race. All right, yeah, good call, good call. This one's falling apart. Uh, this is Marquita's straw hack, is that there's paper straws everywhere here, but Joffrey's has the agave straws, and the agave straws don't fall apart as fast, so fun hack. If you're passing a Joffrey's, and there are four of them here at Epcot, grab yourself some agave straws if you plan on having some drinks, because they won't fall apart as fast. Like, look at this one, swelling. Yes, agave straw, agave straw. There's multiple Joffrey's straws apart. That's all I was just saying. There's four locations you can grab them at. Oh, Mary Poppins is out. Are we even? No, I'll let you. I'll let you get down first. I'll have one little sipsy. Sake versus whiskey. You pay for them. You can have whatever you want. You pick. We're gonna race? I mean, I could just do it right now. Everything's a race with me. Okay. Oh, let me turn the camera around. This isn't fair, the strawberry chunks. You that's more you. impressive. Because that is, that's legit. All right, hi everyone, I'm Pete. In case you never met, come up and say hi next time you're in the parks. I would love to give you a, a big old high five or a sweaty hug. But never be embarrassed. Come up, say hi. You could ask anybody who's met me before. What you see on this camera is what you get in real life. I just like to have fun. I like to meet people. Hop in our Discord. Go follow me on my socials so you can see what goes on before and after the streams. My Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. My TikTok's Adventures by Carney. The Patreon's Adventures so by Carney. She's here from Texas and she just called, so she's going to meet us. Nice. She's got a party. I love it. The more, the merrier. I figured there'd be a lot of people here today. Mr. Dave is here. What's going on, everyone? Mr. Dave, you've seen him in the chat. Do you know Marquita? Marquita, Mr. Dave. Yeah, I've seen you. I was just talking about you. I said I was uh, hoping to run into you tomorrow at uh, Magic Kingdom as well. Well, this is it, huh? I love, uh, hold on, let's see. Yeah, oh you can see God. how fast it goes away. That's the chat. It just fades into the distance. Good for you. So when I try to keep up, that's what, <laughs> see, it's hard to read. It's hard to read. <laughs> you know, she's pretty crowded. It is. I think, because, well, that's why, when you set your schedule, Mike, normally people send their schedule, Mike, one day Friday? links up or two days. Friday, it's already crowded, but two. Soaring Over California debuted today. Four new booths were supposed to open, but three opened up today. Right. Mickey and Disney meetup started today. Yeah. The Disney, uh, the Disney 100 Mickey and Minnie statue was today. And what else? Uh, yeah, I see everybody Friday. getting the magnets over there. Oh, and the magnets. That's yeah, the other thing I too. Yeah. Get uh, yeah, my wife is like over there drinking a margarita. We're headed that direction. We're gonna go try one of the new she booths. Went to see Do you wanna join? You're walking back towards your wife. We're yeah, sure. All right. Sure. I mean, I don't want you can do whatever you yeah. want. I mean, I know no, people are on vacation. I just got here. I just landed. Congrats! Yeah. How was the flight? Piece of cake. Nice and easy breezy. Yeah, yep. Love it. So, are we having snacks tomorrow, at MK? After mid afternoon? Yeah, I said your schedule. I was just literally before you walked up, maybe ten minutes ago. I'm like, oh, I hope tomorrow I get to see Mr. Dave at Magic Kingdom. <laughs> well, I have or to Epcot today. For the people watching, I am a lurker. I don't. I'm shy. Okay, so I don't write a lot. Uh, hey. Uh, we we love here. all the lurkers. I've come here and found you guys. There's probably 40, 50 people who chat <laughs> and 2,000 views. So a lot of people were, a lot of people lurk. Okay, we so we love the lurkers. Lurker all right, time out. We were accurate. There is no more Honey Bee. Honey Bistro is like gone, gone, or just closed now? It's like gone, gone. <sighs> I mean, oh, not that it was the greatest. Oh, snap. I don't think I've ever seen Pooh. I love it. Custodial doing an amazing job. So how long are you guys in town for again? A uh, week. Oh, that's awesome. Never came this time of year, so. Well, we should come in summer. I was gonna say, doesn't one, the temperature is a lot better already. From New Jersey, it was pretty cold. Nice shirt. This is my friend, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. We're live on the internet machine. The interwebs. The interwebs. 
So Bubbles oh, and Bubbles and Bride took over for the Honey Bistro. All right, that makes more sense. Let me go get the wife. I'll catch all right, up with sounds you. good. Yeah, great seeing you. I'll, I'll be around. I'm here until fireworks. We will see you yeah, tomorrow. I'll be around all night. So just shoot me a text or I'll text you later. Okay. All the Disney 100 stuff out. These are all new. Swirled Showcase took over the old Starbucks location, which was supposed to be the temporary Starbucks location. I like that they're trying to turn that into a booth. No one in line for Bubbles and Brian. Watch out there. Do a switchbacks. Ooh, a new mural for Disney 100 over on the construction wall, too. I like that. We'll check that out in a second. How's it going? What would you like? I was told the crab claw was good, so I'm gonna do the crab claw. That's what Eric just said. Do you want Eric anything? Said no. no, he said no shrimp. He no said shrimp. crab was good. Crab claw over shrimp. That's what he told me, so I'm doing that. What do you want? Anything? Mm, no, I got it. All right. I'm like, I can't. So, new life hack if you don't want to stand in line in there, yeah, seriously. All right, let's I'm dropping so many things. I'll just, just keep the card in my back pocket. Okay. So sorry. It's gonna be twenty-one dollars today. We're paying with card. Are you okay? I know you're gonna have a packed up line. I know it's. Oh, I just, I just feel the urgency. All right, I inserted. Is it working? Or we'll tap. Look at that. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a great day. All right, let's try this. Like I'm excited for champagne. What's going on? Oh, what'd you get? Champagne. Here are the crab. Colossal shrimp. Laura and I just signed up for Costco. Uh, last weekend, we just got so, like, a bag of gigantic shrimp like this, and I've been just loving shrimp all week. Thank you. Well, too late now. But, look at that. It actually looks and smells pretty good. I like it. Let's grab some napkins. All right. Look over here. At least this, I like this new mural. All right, we'll be right back. I'm just gonna grab some more stuff.
Ooh, that is nice. All right, here we go. We got the crab. So what Eric was saying is that basically they taste very similar. I'm guessing it's a similar presentation. Uh, plus Lauren likes shrimp, so she'll probably want to do that later. So I went with the uh, claws. All right, let's give them a try. Picture looks very nice. You can have it as a thumbnail for next week. I love it. Although I think I put in the thumbnail, I feel like I have to do. So let's make sure it tastes good first. So I want to come back and do it again. That does smell good. The cork. It's not so often good. that I like pop the bottle. <sighs> it's like not often that we finish the bottle of tequila <laughs> cava. Yeah, finishing the bottle of tequila both. cava is where it's at. All right, let's get in here. Anybody want some? I'm not gonna eat all this. Feel free to have some if you yeah. want some. You need to eat because you will got this is pizza only meal of the day. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. So Brooke's not a champagne drinker. I'm what do you want to drink? Let's go there next. As I eat this quickly. Grab. I I really want to go get one of those uh bottles of wine. We did those last week. What, she wants a mimosa flight. She wants a mimosa flight. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Go get it. Oh, I was going to say, we can stay here in the shade and well, save this table. Go grab it. Okay. I'll do that. We won't go anywhere. They need claws. I need to, there's such a waste of meat. I love seafood. I grew up on the South Shore of Long Island. Uh, this is like the best. I'm just reading this like a finger food. The fork doesn't work. They don't have crackers. You want with the mo? Of course. The mo and shandy? Yeah. I'm not really a rose girl. So my favorite champagne they only have in rose. That's like the biggest ant I've ever seen. I don't want to waste any of this. Come on. Give me the meat. There's the meat. There we go. Oh, there we go. That was a good scoop. This is like the worst to watch me watch. Like to, <laughs> this is the worst to watch me watch. This is the worst to watch me eat. I think it's hilarious. It's terrible. But I hope everyone's having a great Friday. We're here hanging out at Epcot. It's Food and Wine Festival. Uh, they had changed over the Honey Bistro to Bubbles and Brine with all the Disney 100 signage here out in front. We went with the crab. Not that the honey mustard is bad. They put up, so let me show you real quick. They put a giant uh, honey mustard in the middle here. And it's not terrible. It actually, you know, it does add something nice, but I don't want it soaked in the honey mustard. So some of them that were been sitting in it are rough. I like the fresh lemon, anything like fresh citrus. Yes, give me that. So this is fun. In the Disney 100 mural that's right behind us, I'll show you guys again, you have to find your favorite characters and there's a ton of them. Oh. Yeah, I already see. Um, I see her, I see the Emperor. I see Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I see people from Big Hero 6. I, I see, see some Disney. Muppets. <laughs> um, Goofy's wearing his Disney 100 outfit. <gasps> Animal! Animal. I see. People from Elemental. I see Lady and the Tramp. Oh uh, yeah, Lady and the Tramp hanging out up there. We'll show everyone in a second. Cars. I see Lady McQueen. I don't know how they got a car in this Lizzie park. Is that Lizzie McGuire? Lizzie McGuire? Sure. No, legit. It's her cartoon. I didn't even know she had a cartoon. Oh, that was such a good grab. That's sad. What? Merlin's in a Hawaiian shirt? We're keeping her. Okay. I see Oswald. No, where's Tafiti? Oh, down here, down here. Oh yeah, Merlin's in a Hawaiian outfit. I love that, that's great.
Oh, Oswald's here? She's a pro Disney mom. Look at her. She's like, Oh, wow, doing a great job. There's... This shady spot is great. That's why I'm going to hang out here as long as I can. There's a bunch of space from uh, Emperor's New Groove. Wally. Wally. Gadget. Lightning McQueen. Oh, listen, we haven't even made it to Mexico yet! So many things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, is that Mr. Toad next to Wally? And Orange Bird? Oh. Where? Team glasses. You need another, you need to switch out your contacts. I have, I'm contacts in. So, Wally, if you come down from Wally, Mr. Okay. Toad's right there. And Where then if you go Toad? towards the Odyssey... Please hold, I'm going. Going in! All right, I'm gonna turn this camera around so you guys can see what we're looking at. Can you spot your favorite characters? Bird, Wreck It Ralph. But wait, where's uh Mr. Toad? Oh, super tiny. Okay. Buzz Lighty over by Mission Space in the uh, top left of your screen. This fancy flight. <laughs> the mimosa flights. You have the tropical mimosa, the berry mimosa, and the blood orange mimosa. Pog juice with champagne. Yes, pog juice is our favorite. All right, well, you can do the champagne flight. I'm going to go look at this mural and show everyone what's going on. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here on your Friday afternoon. I hope you had an amazing week. It's going to be an amazing weekend. So sorry. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on over here. In honor of Disney 100, this mural showcases 100 of the most beloved characters from Disney storytelling. Enchanting newcomers and classic characters alike are waiting to be found, with a few decked out in their D100 finest. Can you spot your favorite? And they kind of give you a hint on where they are. So we have Donald Duck, Asha Star, Goofy, Tinkerbell, Hero, Bay Max, Elliot, Animal Lady. So a hundred characters here. You can already see Donald down in his 100 gear right there. Goofy in his 100 gear right here. I love that they're doing this, but also it's on a very busy walkway. I kind of hope there's more than one of these. Maybe back over by what I call the spine, uh, the middle of Epcot, where it's less crowded. Because this walkway here is so crowded where if you're a kid or a family who wants to do some scavenger hunting, you might uh, cause a little congestion. But yeah, we spotted a ton already. What? What? I love port. What kind of port, though? No, I mean like, but it depends on the kind of port. Obviously, Moana's down by Tafiti. I'm just asking. Anna and Elsa up here by Frozen. Miguel down in Mexico. Snow White and the Seven Doors in Germany. So a lot of the characters where they should be or where their meet and greets are. Look, they put me in here. That's great. I appreciate that, Disney. Pinocchio in Italy. Silencio Bruno. 
Tiana's down here hanging out in America. Pocahontas down here. Love that. Love the cultural representation. Aladdin flying high above Morocco. Hercules here in Morocco. There I am again. Mary Poppins on the rooftops. Pizza Pan. <laughs> I love that. Cruella. Aurora. Turning red. Daisy down there. Brother Bear, it looks like, I'm guessing. There in Canada. Ariel just hanging out up here in the ocean. There's Belle and the Beast. A very cool mural. And they have the character list on both sides. I like the Bowie one. I want to see. I'm all about the little things right here at Disney. And this is what made me fall in love with the parks. Stuff like this, where you had a wall. It's kind of barren. No one likes looking at construction walls. And you do something like this, a fun little scavenger hunt. It's nothing crazy, but it's awesome. And I like stuff like this. Again, I kind of wish it was on a less busy walkway, but it's great. And these Disney 100s are out and about. All right, we have two more new booths to do. We also still have to do Soren. Oh, I got to still do that. I got to see if I, my Wi-Fi is working yet. We can meet Mickey okay, and Minnie. So a lot of things wait. happening. We're going to have to try. The what, what, what? Wait, that's from here. Ah. All right, I'm into it. Wine and wedge. All right, we'll do it. I like it. I'm into it. I'm digging it. Some vino. I drink it all. It's Friday fun day. Yeah. We're here all night. Wait, they have an apple brandy from Kentucky. Oh. Yeehaw. Bob. Throw this out. We'll save this. We have Bob. Oh, I'm sorry. I really don't want that to roll. You got your popcorn back Because I'm going to bling it. That one has an imperfection. We didn't have any success with that uh, lightning lead, right? Mm. Um, yes good? and no. Oh. Am I good or not good? We will just add you to my lightning lead. Okay, cool. I just need your tippity tapper. Yeah. Wait, do I need to add, get on it and then just come in with you guys? Okay, that's the bird. Can I have your, your, your pretty pretty bracelet? Yep. Because I can walk away and do it. Which I was really... Soren? Yeah. I was really shocked because you're on here, so I don't understand why it wouldn't... I mean, oh, I do understand why. You just link us. We already linked, but it won't let me link oh. it. I'm the lightning link. So. All right. Mine's Wine and wedges later. by way of... While you guys are at Wine and Wedges. We'll Where's Wine and Wedge? I don't know. We'll find it. Okay. Wine and whatever. Wine and whatever. Enjoy your, your time out. <laughs> you got all the essentials. He is out cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's wedge and wine this. You don't like that one? No, I do. I love it, actually. But, oh, um, how are you not going to have it? Just finish it. Well, I, okay. Come on. I know. She's you never waste. It's Epcot. No waste allowed. Done. Hey. All right. We're off and running. Bubbles and brine. Check. So the wine, uh, <laughs> I was going to say wine, it's brine, but the bubbles are, uh, you can get the Moet, the Vouv, or the Dom P. Dom Perignon, $69. The Vouv, $38, per se. Yeah, that's not in France. And then the Moet Imperial, $21. All right. Let's keep it moving. Thanks to everybody who hung out on all the live streams this week. Monday, we did Mix It Up Mondays episode one. We'll be back Monday at noon for episode two of Mix It Up Mondays, where we talk Disney news, but also what's going on around Orlando, all the theme parks. What's my schedule going to be like for the week? Where do you want me to live stream from? What should I do? Where should I go? And we have a few other uh, fun topics, discussions. We're going to do a bunch of fun stuff on Monday. Tune in Monday at noon. But anyway, that was this past Monday. And now it'll be every Monday at noon. Tuesday, we went over to the Magic Kingdom. We had an awesome live stream. We did the little rope drop action. You can check that out after this as well. Wednesday, we did the merchandise event over at ESPN's Wide World of Sport. 
wide world of sports. Whew. I need another drink. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, it was a crazy event. It was like a Disney flea market. Huge discounts on merch. It was an AP event. You have to sign up through the app. Uh, tomorrow is the last day of that event. So if you are in town, you want to check it out in your My Disney Experience app. 8 a.m. You can sign up for a boarding group. Go over and check out the Disney AP merchandise event. The Hawaiian booth right here. And looks like there's another booth over here by the Blue Umbrella. Pua and Hey Hey. We were at Animal Kingdom last week. We did a little drawing of Pua. At the We had an animator teach us how to draw. It was a fun stream. We went over to Rafiki's Planet Watch. We went on the safari. Tons of content to go back and check out after this if you're looking for some more, get your Disney fix on. If you don't want to miss anything, I recommend subscribing. Get that bell on, hit all notifications. So that way you don't miss a thing. Wine and Wedge, or what we were calling Wine and Whatever. They have assorted artisanal cheeses and accompaniment. The Borson Fig and Balsamic Souffle with a fig tapenade. Southern Pimento Cheese. Oh, that sounds good. And an artist palette of wine and cheese. Sounds good, too. Then we have a Riesling, a Brandy, and that port. Oh, and they have a flight. All right, so maybe we'll do the flight, and then I'm going to try that Southern Pimento cheese. Why not, right? Because I know Lauren won't eat that, so I can get that now. Lauren's going to join us later, so who knows? We might do another round of this, another lap. But I'll do those two now. I don't know where they went. They have my magic band. Oh, they're over there. All right. How's it going? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Woo. All right. So I'm going to try. Yes. I'm going to try this pimento cheese, the southern pimento cheese. And then can I also do the flight? Of course. Do you want the wine and cheese flight or just the cheese and the wine flight? The flight on the bottom where it says beverages and alcohol where I can try all the beverages. Yeah. Technically, I'm not even supposed to eat cheese. I'm lactose intolerant, but we're just having some fun because we're live. We got to give the people what they want. So we're just going to put the body... We're just going to test it. That's all we're doing. All right. So Southern Pimento cheese and then the flight on the bottom, if that's okay. Sweet. I did the same thing yesterday. I'm allergic to cinnamon, but the, I wanted to try the cinnamon part at our flavors. And how was it? It was okay. Not worth so, the allergic reaction, but... Yeah, yeah. I'll get a little tummy rumble, but... So just, just to be 100% clear, because I've had some You just want the wine, not the wine and cheese, right? Yeah, just the wine. Okay, also. Hi, we're going to get you. No, you're good. You're good. I'm, I'm, I'd rather you confirm it. Oh, I mean, I could start one. Let's do a passport. Start one. That's so exciting. Please. So, do you know what to do with this? No, tell me everything. So, for this one, this is the end of the book. So, it's because we were all excited. Oh. Yes, love it. I love corned beef, so I totally am on the same page as you. It sounds amazing. Oh, that's fun. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. How do you pronounce your name? Freely. That's what I was going to say, but thank you so much. I appreciate your help. pick up our things. I don't know how we're going to carry everything, but we're going to figure it out. What's going on, Kendall? How are you? Doing great, thanks. How's it going? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. We're going to try out the new things, but also just having fun and trying stuff we like. The classics and the new stuff, we're going to call this. There's the pimento. And I'm going to carry this like this. Thank you so much. We got it. I appreciate it. Thank you. You too. All right. Uh -huh. Where should I go? I know which way should I walk. That way, that way, that way. All right, we'll go this way. Oh no, I can't lose this card from Wine and Wedge. 
I have to know what's what. Don't blow away. Do 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 do. do. Don't blow away. Ooh, child, please don't blow away. You know what? Those tables all look occupied. So I see an unofficial festival table. This is what we do here at Epcot. Plus, we get to watch Pluto. Right there. What's better than that? And the best part of an Epcot table like this is it's easy to throw things out. All right, here we go. We got the pimento cheese toast. It looks like some pickled vegetables there. Uh, I'm gonna say that the Riesling's here on the end, followed by the Hartley apple brandy, and then that port. I'm gonna save a sip for Marquita because she's gonna wanna try those as well. But let's try this pimento cheese. There's Pluto. Hang out if you ever wanna meet Pluto, right across from Disney Traders, right in the middle of the World OK entrance. If you go to the right, you uh, head towards Canada. If you come to the left towards Mexico, you pass Disney Traders. Also, Pluto is right here, right across from the Odyssey, which is right now that Muppets Lab tasting experience with the beer, the brew wing experience. All right, let's get into this sandwich. And we'll catch up with the chat in just a second, too. I gotta fix this. This doesn't look good at all. I hope that's doing better. All right. Let's go, pimento cheese. Oh boy. I didn't grab any napkins. This is gonna be fun. It's good. I was gonna say this too, is that I wish I didn't see that pre-made sitting with the direct the direct sun on it. Because it's very good, but I just wish it was colder. The toasted bread is great. But the cheese is, if it was cold, it'd be really nice. It's, it's sort of cold, if that makes sense. It's a sort of cold. Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica. Pretty little edible flower. I'm a fan. I love it. Even though I'm lactose intolerant, I love cheese. It's a gift and a curse. I'm, I'm gonna eat this whole thing, but hopefully they make it over here soon. Let me see where they're at. I see it. All right. I'll just try a baby sip of each of the beverages. So I got the flight. First up, we have the Salbach Oster Zettlinger Sonnier Riesling Spalise. It's a German Riesling with a lot of words that are hard to pronounce. Very nice. So Rieslings are normally very sweet, especially for me. I like more of a savory, I like dry things. This is a dry Riesling. So you still get a little bit of that sweetness, uh, almost like, how do I describe a dry Riesling? So it's dry enough where I can drink it, but sweet enough where like you wanna pour it over ice cream. Very nice. I like that Riesling a lot. And normally Rieslings are over the top sweet for me. So that was a good one. Hartley Apple Brandy out of Kentucky. Oh, what a beautiful butterfly. Come join us. Woo, Brandy. She's a fine girl. Yeah, that's uh, it's good. It feels like that has high ABV. I'm not sure what the ABV is, the alcohol by volume, but it's a good brandy. It's, I wasn't expecting such a kick. And now the one I'm most curious about, and this can go either way, the Florida Orange Groves Winery, black and blue port out of St. Petersburg, out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Here we go. 
St. Pete over by Tampa, about two hours away from here. All right, so it's definitely a Florida port. By that I mean I grew up, uh, I... What'd you get? We got the pimento cheese and toast, and then we got the flight of the three drinks. So I wanted to try a small one first. So how is it? How is this? I mean, uh, we're southern. It's good, try it. I'm from Georgia, you're from Texas. We should, we have try to it, that's why I love it. Cheese. Try it, jump in there and try it. Um, I'll go over there and talk to them. Here, try these. Tell everyone what you guys think. I'm going to get the port. Well, try it first to see if you like it. I was just talking about it. It's definitely a Florida port, so it's not. It's not interesting. It's not a real port, I'd say. It's a, a Florida take on it. Where by that I mean, very fruit forward. It's from the Tampa Bay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's it's the port almost, they it's, use. It's like fruit juice. <laughs> port is normally like. Damn. Puckeringly delicious. This is like a adult fruit juice. No, like, you, I'm gonna say way more drinkable yeah. no, for most Brandon, people. No, you did not miss the pimento cheese. It just opened today. Yes, pimento cheese opened so, today, and I like it a lot. I'm a big fan. But I will say that the pimento cheese is delicious. Yeah, it's really it's good. Absolutely amazing. The, my only critique of the entire dish was I wish pimento cheese was colder, but I get that they're yeah. serving it and prepping it, where yeah. like it was like contrast oh, with a warm toast. And we the need another cheese. one of those. We'll yeah, save that for you. For we sure. need another one of those. No, you can have sure. more. I'm full on that. I'm just gonna go take care of the. To eat. I'm gonna take care of this. There's a lot of food to eat. We have another booth. We know you don't eat though. I eat. I'm eating right now. I'm eating on camera with everyone. Jeez Louise. He's sharing his All right, What other of these do you want to try? I'll take one of these uh, for the walk. Do you want to try? Let's try this. The brandy surprised me. That actually was like stronger than I thought it was going to be. Oh. Yeah. That's, it's like, hey, how are you? It's a 10 out How's of 10. It's good. Party princess knows. Party cocktails with keto on this time. Yeah, this is the cocktails with keto we're advertising. Oh. <laughs> Do you mind if I try it? No, no, go nuts. Okay. I'm going to go over there and take care of my other stuff. Um, I'll be right back. You guys oh, behave wow. yourselves. I'll be right back. Oh, that's awesome. What is that one? That is, so they're in order. So that's the, the black and blue port. So there's the Riesling and the Brandy, then the black and blue port. Oh, great. Feel free to tell everybody all about them. I'll be right oh, back. they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, yeah, that's great. Apple brandy. Mmm. Yep, that's great. The apple brandy is absolutely mm. phenomenal. This is my favorite one from Germany. This one right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, I, I love this apple brandy though, the middle one. It's my favorite, it's uh, Riesling from Germany. It's, it's amazing. And this one is also very delicious. The Florida orange. Mm. The non-port drinker says it's delicious. It is.
But the best one I think to me is apple brandy. They did this coming out cheese so right. Correct.
carrot. Pickled carrots. Not like meat. Super weird. No, it's all good now. It's just, uh, so apparently she was like, I don't know what it's going to take to fix this. They were all working on it. You weren't even in the park. She said you weren't in the park. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. And then the other person was like, it says you got in at two o'clock or whatever. So they're like, what's going on? They're like, let's just try something crazy. They're like, we're going to book you a park reservation now. So they booked me a park reservation. Then they went back to try to see if they could book me the lightning lane. They were like, oh yeah, it says you're in the park now. So done and i was like well can you move my time up to marquita's time so we can go with her and they're like sure so anytime at 4 30. so we're over california let's go 20 bucks 20 bucks to use the garbage here at epcot so sorry for the delay everyone uh just wanted to get our stuff figured out so we can give you no wait when we go to soren over california because waiting in lines is not fun for a live stream um yeah, and we get some do you yeah, like the pickled carrots? Oh my god. OMG. I don't think I tried any of those yet. The flavor of the pickled carrots. Please hurry up so I don't eat all of yours. Yeah. No, eat them. Oh, I plan That's they're, good. They're amazing. You can have all the rest of the vegetables. I'm done now. Randy, hurry up and come back so we can try this pimento cheese with you. My man. So good. There he is, Pluto. We love you. Oh, jeez. Oh, I heart you, baby. Looking great. Pluto going to the masses. That's my dog. <laughs> All right, eat the rest of that. All right, so what were our thoughts on the rest of the flight, ladies? So I'm just all about this um, apple brandy, but yeah, Riesling is a Riesling I always get. I said it's actually a Riesling I really enjoy. It's yeah. like dry. Yeah. It's like right on the threshold of sweetness yeah. that I can do. It was good. I, I liked all three, except I will say the port is not a port. It's like an adult fruit juice. That's true. Actually, now that you say that, it is. Yeah, which is still not bad. It tastes good. If they said adult fruit juice, I'd say perfect, and I'd say 10 yeah. out of 10, yeah. but not a port. Um, yeah, are we doing another food booth? Or are we going on Sorum? What do you want to do? Yeah. Are we done with these, or which one can I have? You can have them all. <laughs> okay. Don't tell I, me I twice. Got what I want. Yeah, the... Uh, we have um, Oh, this was wine and whatever. Yeah, wine and the top one. Chop and Char was the one that he said it was the best one. We ran into somebody who said this was wine and whatever. Why do we call this wine and whatever? Yeah, he's like, wine and whatever. All right, we're off and running. Another booth. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for hanging out. I hope everyone's having a fantastic Friday. We're here at Epcot at the International Food and Wine Festival 2023. Three new booths open today. We've done two out of the three. It was supposed to be four, but one of them didn't make it. But we're headed to Char and Chop, which we got glowing reviews, the one I was most excited about. I love it because you can watch them cooking right out here on the grill. I also got to catch up with a lot of chat. Don't worry, I got you covered. Oh my gosh, the roots of porchetta with a lemon parsley salsa. Salsa verde, shaved fennel salad. Ooh, that sounds fantastic. The grilled impossible spicy sausage. I heard this was good. With the herb blender. I heard they were all good. The puttanesca sauce with the ricotta and the meat assorti. A trio of shaved meats with baby arugula, pickled mustard seeds, truffle oil, and a grilled ciabatta. I like them all. And then they have a Bloody Mary, a Pinot Noir, a Coffee Porter, a Vienna Lager, and a Pilsner. How do they not wait? Do they... Porter is actually good. Three beers, and they don't have a flight. They gotta have a flight. Fun fact. Bradenton, Florida, Motorworks. Motor in. Was it America last year? Was it? That's right. There's a Motorworks in downtown uh, Orlando as well, but it's based out of Bradenton. All right, I'm into all these things. You guys still hungry? Thirsty? I'm awake. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. How's it going? Good, thank you. Motor in. No, why? Hello. Hi, what's going on? Nothing much. Clifton Park, nice. I'm from Long Island. Oh, really? Yeah. How's it going? All right, what are you getting? So I know what. All right. A short island in New York? Yeah, a very small one. <laughs> um, what are you getting so I know what to get? Or what do you want me to get I'm you? I'm getting the quarter. Well, I'm gonna get a beer flight so I can try all of them. This guy. Sorry. 
But food wise, do you want any of the food? I'm items? only gonna get this. One. You're gonna get that, so then I'll get. I don't know. Is it which one of these two would you rather try more? The spicy I sausage mean, or the rumor has it that that's impossible. Yeah. But rumor has it that's impossible sausage. So I'll just get both. All right. So we'll do the porchetta, the spicy sausage, and the beer flight, please. Yes, I love when the card works. Oh, Thanks, Kevin. And like our Thanks so much. You too. Stay cool out here. What's going on? I'm doing great. Rutgers out of New Jersey. Love to see it. I need one more sausage. Are you from Jersey? I am. Nice. What part? Okay, cool. I'm from Long Island, okay. but I love Jer I love the dirty jerseys. Okay, I used to work in Brooklyn, love it. Uh, all over, I sold beer in Brooklyn, so I had the whole Brooklyn territory. So uh, I have the privilege of saying, at least for years ago, I've been to every bar in Brooklyn, which is fun. <laughs> have a great day. All right, I gotta find a good spot here. Uh, let's see, let's get some napkins, some utensils. That's a mile away from me. Oh, I didn't get the beer flight. Can I get a beer flight? Yeah, look at them carry. Can you carry the beer flight for me? I got you. All right. All right, we need a table. La table. There it is. We got open tables over here. Tank on the Disney 100. We're all Disney 100 out. We're going to get utensils. PRB, everyone. Here we go. We got everything. Wait, wait, wait. I think we officially have the whole menu. We got now. the whole menu now. Bloody Mary, beer flight, the impossible sausage, the pork, and the meat plate all right here. Now let's get into it. It's because it's vegan friendly. And I heard it was good. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to hate on the vegans. Anything else with the photograph before we get into it? Like the beer flight or anything? Beer or the food. You want to photograph any of this before I eat it? First of all, beer is never on my channel. Well, okay. beer's on my channel. I'm the beer guy. Beer is never on my channel. We I love didn't the think beer. It would be, honestly. So we have the Krombacher Pilsner out of Germany. We have the North Coast Laguna Baja Vienna Lager out of Fort Bragg, California, not North Carolina. And the Motorworks Brewing Midnight Espresso Coffee Porter out of Bradenton. There is location in Orlando, but that, from what I'm being told by Akita, uh, was in America last year. So. It sounds quite amazing. You get into it, go ahead. Do, one, do the honors, this, yeah. This one? All They're right. In order, yep. Oh, gosh. Let me get this without spilling. It's like stuck in there. I feel like they rimmed my, my cup there we go. in barbecue sauce. It's probably a barbecue seasoning. Oh, that would make sense. Oh, yeah. Good. I like it. Oh, is this yep. the espresso? That's the yep. espresso coffee porter. All right, here, here's the test. Go ahead. I like it. Got a thumbs up. Almost two, good. but can't quite get there. Ah, that's so good. You're a coffee lover? For yep. sure. Porters normally, especially in this Florida heat, aren't my thing, but it's cool enough Try and that. I love that. Do you want a picture of any of this? Oh, here, I'll, I got you on this end. Wait, before we do that. Okay. Yes. Well, let's Whoa. talk about how that uh, espresso is gone. That espresso yeah, was good. That espresso was done. 
You guys have the rest. Lauren will actually like that. What? Lauren will like the espresso. Oh, she'll like all the beers. I thought you pointed to the pork. I'm like, Lauren doesn't really eat pork unless I tell her it's not pork. Have her try it and then she figures it out. No. Yeah. Although Lauren convinced me to try the french fries here last year and they were actually French good. fries were great last year uh, and this year. This is a very good liquefied salad. Would you like your own straw? I don't care. Hey, sure. Here, if you, you have one. Just, there. Save, yeah. save that. You might need it later. I got another one from Joffrey. Nicely done. That's the place Which to go. I've heard that. One? So if anybody doesn't know that, they the know place it. to go for straws. They know. Joffrey's That's my theme park hack. It's my straw hack. They know it. It's good. I wish it, honestly, the Bloody Marys I'm so used to having are have so much vodka. Yeah. So this is a whiskey Bloody this, Mary. Oh, it's a whiskey one. I was gonna say because I don't take, but I don't pick up any alcohol. I pick up all, all the other juice. stuff. Yeah. Juice, yeah. All right, let's That's try this uh, vegan sausage. Let's talk about this prosciutto. The prosciutto is amazing. That's good. Mm. Try the polenta. Where did you start? Oh, you got the, That's okay. good. I went straight for the meats. I'm a fan of that. The polenta, the romesco, the sausage, all fantastic. Big fan and. The non-cheese cheese? Stop it. I like it all. I'm not gonna lie. It's very good. All right, let's try the porchetta. Again, everything we're trying is from Char and Chop here at Epcot. Wow, that's really good. I can't get one impossible anything. That's really, really good. You gotta try this pork. Can you please pass one, please? Yeah, I unfortunately do not have a fork. You can have mine. Okay. Mmm. Tim, well played. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's really good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So well seasoned. Oh, and that I'm not a pork good. person. And a lot of people aren't. This is it's very really good. It's really tender. I shouldn't say I'm not a pork person because I love bacon. Well, then you are a pork person. Bacon's like the best smell in the, the second this best This is smell. really well done. Yeah, it really is. Okay, so what else? Uh, uh, Mm. Sweet sassy molassi. That's going in the top it's ten. It's gonna be really hard to beat that. Uh, well, you're going in the wrong way. Normally, you go from light to dark. Yeah. You guys just jumped right into the espresso porter. So yeah, it's okay. gonna be hard to beat. It's gonna be hard to beat. And it, it's a palate wrecker, but now nah, we'll have some fun with it. It's not a palate wrecker. Well, if you go from an espresso porter to a light Vienna lager yeah. or a pilsner. Actually, that's not bad, but I wouldn't drink more than two sips. Which is like major for me. Had. They know it's major for me. Yeah, Marquita doesn't do the beer. I do the beer. He doesn't do the whiskey. Oh, do I need to Drop go get another post. one? I did that. No, I actually bumped her elbow. It didn't hardly come out. It's just uh, that toast is going to taste extra delicious. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. You want to try that? All right. That so this one good. was the what? This is the Pilsner, right? Yeah, the Pilsner. Out of uh, Germany. All right. Please watch Out of Kutzel. <laughs> definitely it's light it's a yeah. german pilsner uh yeah if you want just something that's true to style that is as pure a pilsner as you will get yeah i feel like you have to wiggle the cardboard yeah um is your lightning yeah. link on you or are you connected to me it's on yeah so like i could do it you can do it I mean, if you have to leave you can leave if you want to go right now we can go right now go ahead go nuts i think we should go right now well, I let's mean, go I, right I, after I this it. oh there's so much food to eat uh that is the north coast laguna baja vienna lager by the time we get over there, it should be about that time. Yeah, we'll go right from here. Soaring over California right after this. I mean, to me, it's a lager, you know. It's a lager? Right. Okay. Yeah. You're going to try it? You're not going to like it, though. So keep in mind, she's not a beer drinker. Yeah. But this I'm is Texas, really good. So I like whiskey and I like beer. Amen. What part of Texas? Uh, Central West Texas. This has a really... Like, this is Waco, Angelo. Fort Worth. Okay. Yeah, this has some good caramel Abilene. undertones, though. Okay. I don't know if you've ever heard of Abilene. We have a lot of Texans Texas who watch, so I was asking. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I'm, I'm from San Angelo, which is outside of Abilene. So caramel really undertones? So what's, the, what's your nearest city? Or what, what airport do you fly uh, in and out of? I usually go out of DFW, but I have yeah. to fly four and a half hours, or drive four and a half hours for that. San Antonio's closer to us. Gotcha. It's about two and a half hours. 
I like this, awesome this um, vegan, vegan. Okay, vegan so I know meat. where you are now based on that. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like it's, you're like up over here. You're literally we're, central. We're about an hour and a half away from the heart of Texas. So, and Texas meat is, good. is 18 hours from El Paso to it's a gigantic Louisiana. State. Yeah, it's so. like if you were driving north, south in California. Texas yeah. is just you could be anywhere. Yeah, yeah. or it's Pensacola to Miami. Pensacola yeah. to Miami also insane. Yeah. I thought it was rough, like living on Long Island. Like they're like, "Oh, you go to Niagara Falls." I'm like, "That is ten hours away." Ten hours, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, can someone help me eat all this food? We have sausage. Yeah, I, we have pork. Just dig in, go nuts. There's forks, there's knives. I'm I can't eat it all. Eat. Please help this. me. I didn't try this yet. I'm gonna watch. I you. hate wasting food, so please help me. I'll eat and it I'm filling way. up. I had ramen. I'm pretty sure all of Get you were surprised eat. that I had ramen while I waited on beef. Why? No, you should definitely. I love ramen. Have you had it from the noodle house yet? I haven't had the noodle exchange ramen yet. Mmm. I actually had your wings today. Which ones? The orange cardamom? I liked them. I think the orange cardamom wings out of the brewing experience with Muppet Labs pair so well with their IPA. It's like a perfect match. It's this so is good. a no-go. This sausage is actually quite good. Right? Does anybody want delicious. the garnish? For, for a, a full vegan, vegan sausage, dish, it's yeah. really good, and the, it, I think the. And now it is a little. It has a little bit of tang to it. A little bit garnish? of spice. Yeah. Is, so just a heads up for anybody who. <laughs> Do you, you want know, it? May not no. like spice. You want the garnish? You know. Yeah, it's got a, like, a little it's hint a little of spice, but again, too, but I, not much of one. I don't like super spicy foods. You're gonna yeah. just throw the whole thing out. It's a little fried salad. Gosh, I feel so bad. One out of one. It is so bad, but I feel like. Don't You can't waste it. Don't even look at it. Never existed. It never existed. It never existed. I can't watch you throw a full drink away at Epcot. That way. Oh Look, there's boats in the water. Oh my goodness, look over there. Ah. Hey, Marquita, Marquita's back. Oh, it's painful to watch. Yes, y'all, I threw away the Bloody Mary. My bad. Oh, it's painful to watch. It's so, well, so I had painful. to watch boats, you know? Thank so God. Didn't have to oh, those it. boats oh, really those fireworks out. Soul. Fireworks coming December 5th, hopefully. Hopefully. What's up, my man? Not Good bad, that was the one day. Oh, that's all right. My dad's gone. How'd you like it? I haven't tried this yet. Honestly, great vegan dish. I like the polenta. I like the romanesco. I like the sauce. I like the little vegan cheese. And the sausage, again, like for a substitute meat, very good. I did yeah. try I'm gonna the barbecue. I'm going to substitute that meat with this meat. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. It's so horrific. The Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. That's See? That's See? It, it wasn't me. That away. She yeah, just Bloody Mary yeah. out. Yeah, it was not good. It, it, it was tomato juice. It wasn't even a Bloody Mary. It was no, tomato juice. It was, it was we can, we can all barbecue. successfully yeah. say, yeah, it's or it's confidently say. Yeah, you're right. It is. You don't barbecue want the Bloody sauce. Mary. No, it's horrific. Yeah. yeah. Very, but very everything else at this booth is great. The food has been yeah. great, and the beer flight, the beer? I think, is all great, too. Yeah. I feel like that's a Cocktails with Keto ABC first that I throw away a drink. Right, that, <laughs> honestly, I've never let anyone throw a drink away. Normally, I'd I'll just muscle it down. But if you don't want to get the flight, uh, that, like, if you don't want to get the full flight, the espresso is yeah. probably the espresso the number one. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, okay. totally My number one, too. Okay. If you like dark beers. <laughs> so we're even. Or if you like just coffee, like yeah, if you like hot, because it doesn't really it kind of hides that beer flavor even if you. Yeah, she likes it. She's not a beer drinker. Yeah. Oh, the espresso. Yeah. yeah. All day. I would actually do a six ounce. Yeah. That's what you're just saying. That if you come here, don't get the Bloody Mary. Only honestly, everything from here was fantastic except for the Bloody Mary. Do not get yeah. the Bloody Mary. Did That's you a get hard some pass. Of I'm just trying to get through these plates. Can okay. anyone else please eat more? I can't watch a drink get thrown away and all this food. Please eat. I can't do it. It just hurts this. my soul. This poor, poor dead, I will agree with Eric that I honestly these two have really exceeded my expectations. I didn't think I was gonna like this sausage polenta dish as much as I do. It really is. You you wouldn't know that it's a vegan dish at all. No, it's delicious. You would have no idea. And the porchetta, so good. Mm hmm It's super tender. Like that's what's nice. So about tender it. and well seasoned. Like mm -hmm. the thing with pork too, like one pork so hard to cook just right. And also exactly. seasoning, a lot of the time it's under seasoned. It's moist. Like yeah, it's, it's, it's moist. Yeah. It has great flavor in every bite. It's, it melts in your mouth. It's really for a pork dish. You know, I think growing up, because all my pork was so well done yeah. in most of our lives growing up, is uh, we hate pork. It was like eating a slab of disgusting. Yeah. But this is so dry tender, meat. so well done. Yeah. It was yeah, always dry like and hard. You would have to chew it for hours. This is tender, delicious, well seasoned. Try another little bite. Please eat more. I can't throw all this food out, ladies. 
Here, I'll use this one. Yes, get in there, please. It's good. I eat another bite of polenta. Please, yes. Okay. Cannot waste food. Are we both food done with the, the uh, Vienna lager? Mm. It is so good. That porchetta is so good. Porchetta, porchetta, however. Yeah, it's porchetta. you can say it, tomato, tomato. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's I good. like it all. I just wish there was room. I know there's still so many more booths to go. We've I already know. done that. That's those. why I am mean, yes, we've done a lot of them. There. I know. That's why I'm happy we're doing a soaring over California break. Although flying over those fit people are gonna be rough. After but it's all gonna food. smell so good. It's gonna smell amazing. Turn on your smell of vision, everyone. We're going over California. All right, how do we make room? Jumping jacks. Oh, it hurts. Ooh! Are we? Let's race mm. tomorrow morning. Let's skate tomorrow morning. Not race, skate. No. Did you get your oh skates God, out? No. I have an appointment at 10, uh, and then I'm going to go to the Magic Kingdom after that, so probably around noon. So next week, we need to get your skates out of um, storage. I'm going to buy, if we're going to race, I have to buy new skates. We're not racing, but I'll get you some skates. I was going to say, if you have, because Lauren bought me, so during the pandemic, I used to play roller hockey for my entire life, second grade through college. And uh, it's not a race. We're going to so take So I'm used to hockey glass. skates, but I haven't, I don't own hockey skates anymore. And then during the pandemic, Lauren was like, we should buy, well, it wasn't Lauren, but a bunch of people in our pe in our complex where we live were like, let's buy rollerblades are on right, sale on the Amazon first. deal of the day. I'm killing it. So like Kill eight it. people bought rollerblades. And I was like, Lauren's like, are you going to get them? I'm like, I don't want those cheap rollerblades from Amazon. And she's like, everyone's getting them. And I looked up hockey skate prices and they were so much money. So I was like, yeah, just get me the skates. What size do you wear? 12. Yeah, and it's really hard to find your size, yeah. too. And hockey Lucky skating. for you, you know a DM of a roller skating rink. I do know someone who's in a roller skating rink. So, yeah, if you have decent hockey skates, that'd be awesome. I'm calling John now. But not 4 by 4s oh. Do you have the inline? I mean, I can do either one. But. No, I'm going to get you the inline hockey. I'm getting you hockey, All right, cool. hockey skates. But, yeah, so anyway, we got roller blades. We skated around the complex. Lauren liked it. She didn't expect me to actually skate well because Lauren never saw me skate. We're skating the hourglass lake. Keep in mind, though, I haven't like We're skated, not racing. skated in over a decade. We're not racing. We're going to skate the hourglass lake. Oh, I would totally do it. We do it in the morning. Yeah. yeah. That would be a fun live stream, actually. Let's do it. Okay. We're making a phone call. Can we do it on the same day they do We're that other thing? We're making a phone call. We should do it the same day they do that arts and crafts thing that we want to do. Yes. But they don't so, do that until like, later. Yeah. So I have to show you this. This is my, okay. this is my okay. son when he was oh, a little Oh, my gosh. Younger. so funny. Yeah, he's. he's That's like, his future profile. He was telling me, yeah, he was telling me that his finger hurts, of course. And that it is just so happened funny. Happened to be the right finger. Yeah. If everybody kind of picks yeah. up on what that means. He's uh, expressing himself. Because his finger hurts. Oh, right. Yes, with the finger that probably means the most in society. <laughs> When you say the finger, that's what it means. Who was it? That's was it Joey? It was, no, it was Phoenix. Her son, yeah. It was Phoenix flipping people off. Very funny. I sent it to his father, actually, one time. My ex-husband. I was like, hey, Phoenix has a message. And he was like, hey, that's not funny. I was like, Yikes. no, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> Is this fake cheese? Mm hmm That's cute. Faux oh, cheese. <laughs> that's cute. Is it faux cheese or is it plant-based? Because it's It's plant-based. Like, it's all plant-based in this dish. That's cute. And I like it. Honestly, it might be my favorite vegan dish of the entire festival. I'm going to put that out there. I, and I would say food-wise oh, wow. and beer-wise, this might be my like, top two or three across. booths. <laughs> I need to send that to you. I have it. This is, oh. like, you wanna see, this is by far the best picture. All right. Wow, you guys are babies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were complete babies. Plastered babies. <laughs> Also not drunk. No, definitely not. Never. Um, can you, anyone want any more of this? Please. No, I think I'm good. I'm yes, to way to go, Marquita. Oh, oh, I hit the camera button on accident. As long as we don't hang, we don't delete the, the feed. All right, let's go, let's go oh. fly over California. Let's go soaring over California. What does everybody say? Let's do it. Let's soar. Thorn over California. That's a good meat plate too. Mm. I could use more of this toast with that, uh, other stuff. What do we have? Other, uh... Oh, the pimento cheese? Pimento cheese. I actually asked for more toast. So, let me see something. So, Brandy, ask for more toast when you get the pimento cheese. It's kind of like when you get the uh, soup over in Canada. You always want that extra pretzel roll. I think too many people have figured this out, so now they're saying, like, no, they can't do it. You have to get a very nice cast member. 
All right, are we ready to soar over California? While we're online, I'm gonna catch up with the chat, so don't worry, you, don't, you are not getting neglected. I'm gonna say hi to everybody in just a little bit, but let's head over to the land here at Epcot. The Disney 100 has taken over. I don't know if how I feel about the Pence. Uh, it feels like, I mean, I wanna like it, but it feels a little cheap for me here at Disney. I feel like I could have done more, but it's still cool. The Disney 100's here. <laughs> don't forget the Joffrey's hack. You wanna get that straw. Get your straws at Joffrey's. They have the agave straws as opposed to the paper straws. Stock up, and then you can use those for your trip around the World Showcase. You're welcome. Just for that, I hope I get a like and a subscribe. But out of the many, many hacks we're going to give you, Pluto's still out there creating magic for so many families. Yeah, Disney 100 has officially just taken over this park. Wine and Wedge, our favorites were uh, the pimento cheese. And again, I would just do the flight. All three were interesting enough. I feel like the flight was just enough. It's a beautiful day here in Orlando, Florida. I think right now it's about 87 degrees, 86 degrees would be my guess, which is amazing compared to just about a month ago where it was over 100. Monorail check. There it is. Look at this shot. Magical. So magical. Oh, I just saw uh, Molly and her husband. I have to talk to them about something. Hopefully I'll see them later. Yeah, we set a goal today for uh, 200 likes. We're on our way there. We're at 160. Really appreciate, or we're at 143, 161 people. I'm sorry, but we're on our way there. 57 away. Thank you so much to everybody who hit the like button. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed. Thank, again, a uh, big shout out to everyone who just subscribed. They're brand new. It's crazy. So here's the new Mickey statue right in front of the Disney 100. This came out today as well. A big line of people to take pictures with the new statue, but I'm sure this will be here for a while. With the classic, it was all started by a mouse. Yeah. Love this. I'm pretty sure this will be here a while. Good news. December 5th. Construction walls coming down. All of these walls we've had for the last four years will cease to exist, hopefully, starting December 5th. We've just lived a life of construction walls. So crazy, my friends here in Orlando, some of them saying they've only known Epcot with walls. That's sad. That's Ray and Ham. No. They've only known Epcot with walls. They only started coming to Disney when they moved down here. That's weird. I know. Epcot's amazing when it doesn't have walls. I mean. I remember walking straight through. I know. I re you remember the, uh, when the Coke thing was the frozen. Yep. Oh, it's still here. Yeah. Listen, Epcot's always amazing. But yeah, it's been a, it's been a long project. It reminds me of uh, when Hollywood Studios went through their big transformation where at one point there was only four things to do in the park. Yeah. For like six months. <laughs> There was, like, you can go in, there were four things to do. Definitely coming along, for sure. Yeah, they're making progress. Moana, in previews, we got to do the cast member preview a few weeks ago. If you have missed it, you can go check it out. Lauren's doing the cast member preview tonight. Yep, annual pass holder previews begin, is it? 24th to the 29th. Is it Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, Sunday. Uh, which you don't need to sign up for. So if you're an annual pass holder, all you need to do is just uh, make sure you have a park reservation, get into the park, and then you can do your pass holder preview for Moana Journey of Water. Technically, it's Journey of Water inspired by Moana. Lauren's doing her preview today at 5. So she'll be here in about a half hour. Lucky. Lucky gal. Yeah, we were lucky enough to do it a few weeks ago. Again, go check it out on the stream. Uh, no, I just a cast member. I think we should go check cocktail. 
cocktails at um, Typhoon Lagoon. Did you think almost What? I think we should do a cocktail check at Typhoon Lagoon. I'm into it. I'm into it. It's been a while since I've been to Typhoon. We haven't done Typhoon in a while. I know. It's been a while since I've been there. We also still haven't done the new Figment meetup since we've uh, on a live stream. But Figment now meeting with guests here at Imageworks. Uh, the exit of Journey of Im into Imagination. If you're not going to do the ride, you can just walk in towards Imageworks right there. Right before you get to the Short Film Festival. If you have a Disney visa, there's also a photo spot right up here. Just show them your Disney visa card. And you can go meet some iconic Disney characters. Get it, really? King? Really? He's Knuff. What's up, bud? What's up, dude? He was Knuff. He's Knuff. I was so happy that credit hit my account. I bought a Knuff shirt to go to the premiere with. It was stuck in some facility for like three weeks. They promised like three day shipping. So I contacted the company. I'm like, listen, uh, I'm not getting there. Like, well, we should, we did ship it. I'm like, it's been at the facility for two and a half weeks and the movie's gone. It's over. It's done with. <laughs> I'm like, and now everyone has the Knuff shirts. It's not even cool anymore. They were like, would you like a credit or to reship a new one? I'm like, I'll take the credit. Ah, the land. The land. No, I think we'd be good. We we have done many successful streams in Soren. But if for any reason we do lose service, it's a good time to bring this up. Just hit refresh. We're not going anywhere unless we say goodbye. Or if I hit the wrong button, which is like one out of a hundred. We haven't talked about this yet too, but if anyone's gonna be in town or if you're a local and wanna hang out October 1st through the 4th, we're doing a meetup. Bunch of people who watch the channel, who hang out. Uh, some people, I'm sure I've already heard there's some people who are making their very first appearance at the meetup, some people, regulars. But we've done a few meetups before. They've been so much fun. It's free. You don't have to sign up. There's no pressure. Are you going to the dentist? No, why, do you have to? I would. I was gonna to go to get ice in my cup. And that's it. Wait a minute. Who's your son's person? Tomorrow. Oh, Nate? If he's here, he can say hi. I don't, Nate. Yeah, I've, uh, I've had a channel for two years. Marquita started following me the last week. What a that jerk. Was three weeks ago. All right, a month, less than a month ago. What a jerk. 21 days ago. It was yeah. <laughs> Garden Grill character experience. You get a meal and to hang out with the characters, character dining experience. It rotates slowly in a circle and you go over living with the land, which is a lot of fun. You can work on your cats. Oh, I'm trying to get to the ice before we get in line. So you can get those nice Living with the land, 20 line. minutes. I love to see this ride getting attention. This ride is so... Underrated. So it's the best. Minutes. Wow. I hate seeing this ride getting attention. I posted a full ride through on this ride uh, about a week ago. You can watch it here on the channel. It's in vertical, so you can watch it on your cell phone. I've done horizontal. I'm doing some vertical ones. We're doing both. So... If you're on the TV or computer, it'll be long ways. Some right throughs we do long ways, some things we do vertically. We're hitting out all the markets, <laughs> all the things everybody wants. Sword now taking flight. We're headed that way, but I'm gonna grab. So here's a little hack. If you have a water bottle, this is a great place to get some ice uh, and some water as well. You just come on in here and boom. Looks good. Let's do a little bit more. By the way, we still have a few more of these water bottles, which keeps things nice and cold. And they fit in your pocket and your cup holder. I'm a big fan.
Let's head over to Soren. Soren over California debuting today. The previous version. A lot of people love it. You're about to see it. Oh, I just realized I was muted all that time. Really? I love the story of how this was created. An Imagineer in his garage. So here we go. We're going on Soren. Soren over California is on a limited run. So we're going back to the original. Very excited about it. Thanks to everybody who's tuning in. Thanks to everybody who's watching. Thanks to everybody who hit the like button. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to all the Patreons. Luckiest guy ever. I'm going to go back in the chat as far as I can. If I missed your comment, you could always redrop it. Just trying to spam. We have an awesome community here. I can get back to 311. All right. That's pretty far back. Jake, what's going on? Bill, what's going on? Grumpy hanging out. Don, you are right. They do amazing things with the Impossible Sausage. It was very good. And also those agave straws. What a fun hack, right? Colleen's like, that's a great hack. Colleen, thank you so much for dropping the links. We love Colleen. That's Queen Colleen right there. All the links to the website, all my socials, the Discord, all right here in the chat and down below in the description. Bill, I couldn't agree more. Lurkers are the backbone of the stream, just like Mr. Dave. Yes, thank you. Shout out to all the lurkers. We love you. Mark Mueller, what's going on? Honey Bee Shores Flower and Garden. What was there before, though? It probably was definitely something in that before. Bistro. Anthony Butcher, what's going on? <laughs> I love your comment. Shout out to Michael Clark. Great to see you.
<laughs> Steven Newton says, nothing like getting a Dom P at a food booth for $69. $260 for the bottle. Yeah, it's crazy. Steve Marmelstein's here. Love it. Colleen says, what a great mural. Went back when we were by the mural. Again, I'm going back as far as I can. We had a lot of sun and we were walking around. Yeah, Stephen Noon dropping the cheapest champagne over that booth is $21 for the Moe, $38 for the Vouv. Robert D, you know he's going to get some. Oh, here we go. Take one big step forward, filling in all the open space in front of you. Once again, fill in all the available space. Thank you and enjoy your plate. Grumpy, I agree with you. I love that they would do something on all the construction walls. Uh, I mean, they did it for... I love when they did it for the um, Festival of the Arts, when we painted on the wall. Once all these construction walls go down, we're gonna have to find new places for the Festival of the Art uh, painting walls. Oh, Michael, we know all about that part. What's going on, HFC? Great to see you. Hope, what's going on? Happy Friday. Yes, Hope, I just seen your comment about soaring over California and talk about timing. Here we go. That's such a great idea. Grumpy says, when I used to work in events in floral, I asked our leaders why we couldn't put our signature uh, on each basket and the flowers we left. That's a great point. Like made by this person. I would love that. I love a personal touch. I know there's so much cheese, Don. It's hard. I want to do it all. Yeah, we talked all about the electrical parade on the last stream. We just know it's coming. It's making a return. You're out of here? Okay. Thanks for everything. I'm sweaty. Have fun. Marquita's leaving. Uh, Alice Wonderland experience. Um, oh, wait. What's uh, the plan for? Okay. I will see you maybe tomorrow at Magic Kingdom. All right. Shout out. Sorry, I'm saying hi to everyone in the chat. I just ignore them for hours. I had to go back to 310. <laughs> uh, mousing around, representing Long Island. Love it. Phenomenal Brandy. We had a Phenomenal Brandy earlier today, but Phenomenal Brandy is our home girl here in the chat. So this homecoming here on the mountain, so the afternoon's crazy, but I'm here to drop a like. Brandy was just in time for the Brandy. Six minutes, six to seven minutes from here. Okay, we're gonna ride it out. Okay, okay. Marquita's back. Brandy, there is pimento cheese, it's and so when you're in town, we're gonna have to try it. When you're here for the meetup, again, we're doing a meetup October 1st to the 4th, Go to adventuresbycarney.fun for the full schedule. That's my website. That's right. Adventuresbycarney.fun, not .com, .fun. And you can see the full meetup schedule. You don't need to sign up. You don't have to pay anything. Just come hang out with us. Say hi. Introduce yourself. Think of it as like a positive person, Disney fan, YouTube networking, fun times event. Thank you. Yeah, Steven, that could have worked. Steven actually sings opera, and when I go to the opera, he could have sang some tunes in the background. Next time he's in town, we got to do it. Matt, what's going on? Matt Kent. Sorry I didn't see your comment earlier. The, the stream and the live stream, the chat goes by so fast, and it's so bright outside, it's so hard to read. HFC says, love it. Could watch all day. Thank you so much. Izzo's here hanging out. We love Izzo. Yeah, sorry I had to run to the blue umbrella, but we got it all figured out. I love there was a whole conversation about Pluto the planet. Alex, what's going on? Great to see you. Mike Graney in the house. Trudy, what's going on? Great to see you. Yeah. 
Yeah, Disney's definitely, Dawn says, I'm a vegetarian. Disney's definitely stepped up their meatless game. Yeah, I think I would agree with that 100%. Because some items just weren't for me, we could say. But I've been enjoying a lot more of the vegan dishes lately. Rosita in the house is TGIF. Hello, all. What's going on? Hanging out in the background. Love it. Big shout out to Rosita. We love Rosita. Disney Mike said, I actually enjoyed the pickle milkshake from Muppet Labs. Yeah, it was interesting. So I tell people, it's the pickle milkshake. It's interesting. Love magnets. Magnets. Uh, frozen peach hibiscus. Uh, the frozen hibiscus tea is really good. The pickle milkshake is uh, interesting. I'm not saying it's bad. I think it got a lot of uh, just when it was announced, people were hating on it out of the gate. But honestly, the pickle milkshake better than the Bloody Mary we just had. Yeah, that Bloody Mary might have been the worst thing at Food of One. It was not good. Perfectly named it a barbecue Mary. Yeah, the barbecue Mary. It, honestly, I, everything here I think is great, fun in some level or another. <laughs> that was the only item that I allowed to be like put in the garbage in front of me. Yeah, I was looking at boats. Alyssa, what's going on? Great to see you. <laughs> Izzo, that's right. Thorn over California could be an e-ticket ride in Disney's California Adventure. Brianna, what's going on? Hope you had a great day. Robert D, check it in. What's going on? We were just talking about you, Robert, that uh, you would enjoy the new champagne booth, or at least we know your other half would too. But it's just some expensive champagne. You get some shrimp and some claws. Not white claws, actual claws. Tyler Silva, what's going on? Great to see you. Randog, what's up? Sorry, I know I was muted for a second. That was the worst. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna wait for we're gonna wait for B2. So if you want the best experience, which we're gonna give you, uh, which you can always do, there's three theaters. There's A. There's B, and there's C, and then every theater has, or not theater, I should say, there's three sections. There are three theaters, but we're, there's three sections of each theater and then three rows in each uh, grouping. So if you go in B and you go in row two, you are dead center, center. So it, in theory, should be your best viewing experience. So we're going to wait for the next ride and go on B2 because we're going to catch up with the chat in the meantime. Jacob, easy on uh, asking the same thing in the chat a lot. I love you, buddy, but I'm just saying I got you. I hear you. I know you want to see Mickey and Minnie. We're going to try and get there later on. No worries. If we don't get there when you leave, the good news about these live streams is that they live on YouTube forever. So you can always come back and watch it later on. Let's watch this pre-show. Includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little dudes. Next, fasten your seatbelts and turn them to the buckle on your right. A small radiator is not measure up to the height indicator on the seat. Let's put the belt in the Katie McGinnis checking in. What's going on, Katie? So glad I made it in time for Sword. Absolutely. Adrian Carter, what's up? Conscience, conscious, common sense. We're going to be on the next group, so we'll get a better view of this without a B reflection on Patrick's face. But this wall is nice and cold, so I'm just going to put my body against it. Uh, this wall is nice and cold. It just feels so nice. Oh, it's like air conditioning em emanating out of it. Are you leaving? I don't know what she's doing, but hi everyone. Oh yeah, there's no service back here. I'm surprised this is working. If we do lose service, 
Hit refresh. Verizon is great. That's why I turn the Wi-Fi off in here. And it's just sell right now. Shout out to Verizon. I see we have over 200 people hanging out. Only 150 likes. Let's go. Pump it up. Let's get 200 likes real quick. Let's let... We got to do it fast so that way everyone can see Soren when they start tuning in. Once that algorithm kicks in, I'd say we got about six minutes before we go on Soren. But now I have time to read the chat. So if you did have any questions or anything I missed, now is the time to post it. I think I'm caught up as far as I could see. So just let me know or post it again. I can answer any questions or comments you might have. <laughs> yeah, it just is so nice. So, uh, so cool. All right, so what else can we cover? Uh, socials, my Instagram's at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. TikTok's Adventures by Carney. We have an amazing Patreon program. Shout out to the Patreons. Uh, it's Adventures by Carney on the Patreon too. Uh, the website, adventurebycarney.fun. You can find a bunch of fun stuff there. Go see pictures from our last meetup if you want to see the people who came to the last one. We had a great time. Uh, you can also grab merch there, like hats like this, shirts like this, uh, water bottles like this. Da, 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 da. Uh, we have an amazing Discord. You should totally jump in the Discord. That's free. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be here with all of them. All of you. It's a wonderful Friday. So we're the next group getting out to Soren over California. They just emptied all the corrals. But again, we waited because, you know what? I appreciate everyone who's here watching. Over 200 people. We got to give you a premium, premium viewing experience. So we're going to do Theater B, Row 2. So we are middle, middle because there's A, B, C. Dead center of the theater is where you want to be. And that's what you get here in Adventures by Carney. Because I love you. And Shelly's posting links. Thank you so much, Shelly. Shout out to Shelly. If you ever need to contact me or you want to, or you have ideas for the stream or the channel or things you want to see, I would recommend using the Discord. We have so many different um, sub channels on the Discord, like live stream ideas, edited video ideas, my schedule, the meetup. If you're in town and want to meet up with other people or you want to see if I'm around with you, you can post your schedule in there. I'll come meet up with you if I can. Like Mr. Dave sent me a message. I said, yeah, I'll see you Friday. I'll see you Saturday. I'd probably see him Tuesday. We'll be back at Epcot next week as well because 98 Degrees is in town. And Lauren loves the 98 Degrees. I'm a fan too. They're fun. Oh, battery. Good time to charge the battery. What else is going on? Also want to thank everyone who ever sends a Venmo or a Cash App or a PayPal. I'm going to put a post up probably the next day or two, uh, definitely over the weekend, if not Monday, just recognizing everybody who did because sometimes they go by so fast I don't see them. Nicholas, what's going on? So one of the rides we're going to go on today says we are going to go on to Soarin over California. We'll do road two if that's cool. <laughs> We want the top or you want the middle? I mean, I guess, but I don't mind the feet. I just crop them out of the picture, but sure. We're going high in the sky. So you can see this is a different pre-show than we're used to because it's soaring over California. Alexander Lee, what's going on? Scott Adams, happy Friday. He's got you up on the big screen. Thanks, Scott. And thanks. I know there's a few bars that put me on every once in a while. Shout out to those bars. And I will give you a bigger shout out if you let me know who you are. Remind me, send me another message. So we're going to Monterey Bay. I've been there. Beautiful. Lake Tahoe, can't wait. Yosemite? Uh, 
Palm Springs. Camarillo. Just messing around. So my first time with Soren was the Disneyland the year it opened. That's super cool. Anza Borrego. San Diego, which translated means. <laughs> Malibu. Los Angeles. I feel like you should put the camera on your leg and wave to, the, to your people. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> yeah, Soaring Over California was the original. It changed since then. Um, but now we're very excited to have, for a limited run, Soarin' Over California back here at Epcot. We don't know. There's no end date that was posted. I'm pumped this is here. San Diego is St. Diego. That is right. Redwood Creek we're headed to. Melon and the Mouse joining us. What's up? April Conti says, watch the golf ball for Hayden Mickey. Yes, that's another thing that's happening today. I forgot about that. Uh, tonight, after dark, uh, they're doing stuff on the Spaceship Earth as well. New things. Uh, Mickey's. Napa Valley. I love it. Been there, too. Been, I've been in a lot of parts of California. San Diego, Los Angeles, Wine Country, Sacramento, San Francisco. Lexington, Kentucky. That's... Uh, I did, I, Eric took me on a few of it, and it was rough. You don't want to be around me after the first or second one. All right, here we go. I'm pumped. Yeah, I'll do it again. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat. All carry-on items in the under seat compartment. and of course. These little beauties. Come on, George. A small aviator is no measure of the height of the gear of the seat. He's put the belt in the roof of the center strap before a bucket. That's worth a belt. Soon you will be here. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party to arrive at the gate. Okay, let's review. That is, seat, seat, belt, carry on, safety, strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. <laughs> no, Matthew, I know you meant during Soarin' there's a hidden Mickey on Spaceship Earth, but also tonight, there's also new stuff on Spaceship Earth as well. So it reminded me. Here we go. Thank you, Dawn. Says, everybody hit that like button. Let's get the 200. I agree. We got over 200 people watching. If everybody hit the like button right now. Magic could literally happen. We could surpass our 200 goal. Before... We get on sword. So we are in theater B. We're going to the top row, which everyone says is good. I like row two. I don't mind a little feet, but top row, no feet. I'm giving you guys the best. I know. It's, it's what everyone says. God bless you. Got a log jam. Of what? Outbreak. Oh. I think I watched it during the pandemic. And it was fun. It was, it made it way more real. Did it have that uh, Bill Paxton in it? Yeah, I definitely watched it during the pandemic. That is facts. It was actually way less than that before the pandemic. That was the first time I saw Harry Potter. 
Step Brothers is a classic. No, that's new. If it's pre two thousand, I haven't seen it. If it's pre two thousand, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen anything. Like, never saw The Godfather, Back to the Future, uh, Ghostbusters. Sorry. Step Brothers is great. Classic. Classic. All right. No, I saw Step Brothers. Come on. Come on. Hey, mom, can you buckle me? Thanks. I'm leaving my shoes. Thank you. So look. Yeah, that's a good move. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Oh, you make it. Sure. You make it. Your hair makes it. So this is the marker. If you're below this, you need the center strap. But you, you got it. You're there by a few inches. Come on. Are you going to chuck the whole thing? Nope. Thank you. Once we go, once the ride starts, uh, it is sanctum. It is like walking into church. No. Once the final systems check, it's like an airplane too. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened during your flight and watch your children. Be yeah, I should let everyone know. If you're going to comment, I don't respond until the ride is over. We just enjoy the ride. I wish all the cast members were talking in a like a California accent, like totally. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a rad ride. No, no. Nah, you're cool. Just let me see that strap. <laughs> gonna take the 405 to the 101. <laughs> the 101, where are you going? The canyon? There's a yellow strap on your right hand side. Go ahead and give it a touch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Like nobody's told her you're welcome today. Well, you're fine. There's only one way to find out. When we land, I'll find you later. Great. And you can always take your shoes off. Oh, snap. Here we go. Soar in the tower. Oh, really? So good, so good, so good. Down on the red button on your way. Be sure to gather all your carry-on items from the underseat compartment and exit to your right. If you want to know which way you're to exit when you're in a theater, just look at the markings on the floor wherever the arrows are pointed. Usually indicate where we're going. Look at these massive systems. So this was all dreamt up by a man in his garage. They were thinking about this ride. The Imagineer went home was in his garage playing with his, uh, oh man, what do you call that? Uh, the toy we used to have as kids. Little, used to like engineering set. You had little metal pieces and screws and figured out that you could have these three rows that are parallel swoop up and face the screen and come back down like this. Brought it into Imagineering and said, I got the way we can do it. Soaring over California, so good. I will say with the new one, uh, you could tell like they made the transitions a little bit like smoother. The picture quality, like you glide a little smoother. But this was some of the, a lot of this was filmed on actual like hang gliders. Like this is like how you felt actually hang gliding. The smells, the oranges, uh, the smells were so good. I miss Soaring Over California. It's so good. I saw some of the comments like, "Where is he? Is he in California or Disney World? We're in Disney World, but Epcot." It's uh, in the middle of a limited run right now. There's no end date that was listed, but today was the first day that Soarin' Over California is back. We'll probably do it again on Monday or Tuesday when we're here for 98 Degrees and more Eat to the Beat. Again, we will be live next week, Monday and Tuesday, so make sure you got that subscribe button hit, you click the bell, hit all notifications so you don't miss any of the live streams Monday or Tuesday. 
or at all in the future. The Erector set, that's it. Thank you so much. It was Christmas over at Disneyland, which is fun. Patrick Julian says, uh, with Soren over Cal California starting in San Francisco, here's a fun fact. Parts of Star Trek was filmed there, and Jerry Goldsmith did the music. That's fun. Brianna checking in. Katie says, yay, loved it. Dawn, yes, it was the Rector set. Thank you, Dawn, David, Up Collector. Yes, Robert D., everyone got me. I appreciate you. <laughs> Mark says, Soren over California, way better than Soren around the world. But I like your abbreviation. Sock is better than saw. Also, George Lucas' company, Industrial Light and Magic, ILM, uh, has done a lot of fun special effects throughout the years in many movies, and also Disney Parks rides, which gave, uh, you know, they did it, obviously, the Star Wars rides here in the parks, but also helped out with Soren and many other attractions and movies. It is technically Halloween at Disney World right now, but uh, the Soren over California that we got was during Christmas which maybe is a sign that they'll keep this running through Christmas. Maybe. Maybe through the end of the year. Crystal says, yay, love 90 degrees. Yeah, we'll be live at 90 degrees Monday or Tuesday. Definitely doing our Monday show, 12 noon. Don't miss it. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. We got 220 people watching and 165 likes. Let's go. If everybody hits the like button right now, we can hit our 200 goal. What? Oh, yes. We're all going to the opera. How's it going? Ladies first. You guys can go first. I'll meet you outside. I also have to go to the opera, which is what we call the restrooms here. It's because it's more fun to say that. But I'm gonna put this down over here. You're gonna hang out here? No, I have to hang out. Then you go and I'll hang out. If I can get, get an okay, I'm coming back. Right okay. Now. We're gonna leave you guys here. I'm gonna trust everybody. It'll be fine. If anyone steals you, just screenshot their face.
took off? Yeah. All right. She just text me, so. I'm gonna grab some more ice and then uh, we're gonna head up. Yeah, she's uh, around here somewhere. She's here with her burn boot camp people, so she uh, belongs to this gym called Burn Boot Camp, and it's she's like loves it, loves it, loves it. So she goes every day. She wakes up at four a.m. every day. She goes to the five a.m. camp. She got her whole crew that always goes at the five a.m. time, and they're all here tonight. So it's party. it's gonna be a party. It's gonna be a party. When Lauren's excited to come to Epcot, I get excited. She used to love it, but then uh, when it got crowded after the pandemic and they stopped yeah. doing the eat to the beach. Oh, there'll be a few. If you see them, yeah, let me know. I'll go up and we'll say hi. Uh, we'll go back out this way. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'll just I'll just go up and say hi. <laughs> How old is your kid? Uh, I have a ten-year-old and a seventeen-year-old. Oh wow! Oh nice, love it. That's cool. I didn't get into Disney until I was an adult. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah, I mean, I did too. I uh, I came down once as a kid. Obviously, I think I had a good time. I don't really remember it, but I came back in my 20s to visit, like, girlfriends in the college program because I'm from yeah. New York. And then I was planning a big trip for uh, a girlfriend and myself. And I was like, man, there's so much to do. How am I going to fit all this into one trip? And I just started, like, listening to podcasts. I'm just going to swap out a fuel ride quick. I'm like, how am I going to do all of this? And I just got so into Disney, and then uh, I moved down. <laughs> all right. Suffolk County? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Very exciting. I'm going to plug this in now because the phone is dying. Um, Am I right? I think that's the name. There's, uh, so there's Long Beach and there's Long Beach Schools. It might be, maybe, whatever you're saying, Long Wood. Long Wood is on top of Long Beach is an asshole. Yeah, it's not there. I love, I mean, I used to love Long Beach and we had an asshole. My boss, the community store before, we used to go to Club for Happy Hours there. But then play beach volleyball at night, and it was so much fun. Big fan of Long Beach. I have a fraternity brother that lives there now that I'm close with. So for those who don't know, you can see Earth up top, and then you have the four seasons around it. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And also happy, I think today's the first day of fall, I think. Hence why this is called Seasons. The food court down here at Epcot, which never seems to be fully open anymore. It's weird. But I love the land pavilion. Living with the land, soaring. Oh, oh awesome. Yeah. That's right. I think I used to DJ all over Long Island. I mean, I technically I still do, okay. but... Uh, Obviously, a lot more often for the 15 years I've been doing it. Yeah, I know them. Yeah, of course. Same. I was gonna say, I think Same I've, person. I think I've may have played to open for him. Yeah. At certain bars. Yeah, the other one that uh, I mentioned earlier. Um, anytime. Okay. By the way, for those who don't know, these uh, murals to my right and across the way are completely identical piece to piece. Thousand of these tiny little pieces of glass are identical to the exact piece with the exception of one single tile. And it's like a little fun Epcot scavenger hunt. We've showed you where it is in the streams before, but if you're new, next time you're here, you and your family, if you're looking or hanging out here in the shade outside the land, 
these two mosaics are identical, tile to tile. Pretty amazing. All right, what's next? What, uh, what would you like to do next? I, you know, I've already done Guardians. So okay, that's, then you cross off the big one. I, best yeah, ride in the, the park. Best. Yeah. The best ride. Best ride okay. in the park, for sure. Although I would say, if this was tomorrow, I'd say for sure. But today that Soarin' Over California is back, I got really excited. Yeah, that, that, it's so relaxing. That's what's so nice about it, too, is after just walking uh, the parks, just sitting down and enjoying that and all the smells. Hundred percent. You're in the dark. It's air conditioned. You're just floating. Your feet are dangling. It's beautiful scenery. Totally agree. Yeah. Um, while we're here, would you mind if we just take a peek at the line for Figment? The new Figment meet and greet is up here. If it's completely chaos or not, we have a rule here: fifteen minutes or less. If it's more than fifteen minutes, we journey on. If it's less than fifteen minutes. Uh, if you want to, we haven't done it on a live stream in forever because I like, I like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, oh, it's 10 minutes. I like the original version of the ride. So I think we've only done this like once on a live stream because it's just not the same. But before we do it, let's just look and see if Figment's around. You can meet Mickey Mouse to the left. We're going to check that on in a second, but I'm going to check Figment first. You gotta meet the mouse. Is that what this is? Yeah. YouTube? We're live right now. Hi. I love it. Uh, for those who are DVC, this is your DVC lounge right upstairs. We've done that on a few live streams. You get to go upstairs, you get your free sodas and snacks and chips, and go to the top of the Imagination Pavilion. It's a lot of fun. It's cute. There's some video games up there for the kids as well. So here in Imagination Land, you got Joy, the Dreamport tunnel looks empty but where is figment not meeting right now there's no line either which is weird is there only certain hours of the day is there something i don't know let's google it i'll google it oh steven says reception on journey to imaginations hit or miss okay good to know Lauren's here hanging out in the chat. What's up, Lauren? She's here with the Burn friends. They're just parking. There you go. Patrick, so the fuel rods come with, uh, I think, all the attachments. I brought my own attachment because I like the longer cord. But uh, basically just a USB, and then you can do any attachment you want. Tomorrow's the first day of fall. That was September 11th, but I don't know. All right. Well, we'll ask on the way out, but it looks like it's not happening. All right. Good to know. Good to know. We learned. But Joy's here, which is nice. We learned something today. Didn't know. Hey, Claire. What time does Figment meet? Uh, he comes out around 9. He leaves around 4, 4.30. Okay. Good to know. All right. So, yeah, there we go. We Now we know. Figment's got a tight schedule. He's got to go home to his family around 4, 4.30. Puts in a nice eight-hour day, 9 to 5, with some breaks. So let's see if we go find Mickey. The cutest video that went viral is, uh, I don't know if anyone's seen it, but there is a dog who is here, and the dog's name was Figment. And it's very cute on opening the opening day of the Figment meet and greet. The dog sits up on two legs with two paws up, holding Figment's hand with a Figment, like Mickey ear band and takes pictures with Figment. Yeah, it was super cute. And the dog's name is Figment. Very, very adorable. It's from a rescue dog center up in Jacksonville and apparently it was in training, which is really neat. So I don't know if this is the Mickey. This is the Disney rewards photo spot. 
I don't even know if I have my card on me. But I'm looking for the Disney 100 Mickey, but let's see if I can find my card. If I took it out of my wallet or not, because I just canceled it. You got to move those interest rates from 0% to 0%. Hmm. Let's see if I still have it. I'm not sure if I kept it just for this or if it's sitting on my end table at home. I think it's sitting next to my bed. I took it out of the wallet. But yeah, if you have a Disney Visa card, you can come in here and take some exclusive photos. And now with these shopping fountains, these not nearly getting the attention they deserve with the new Moana Journey of Water. It's like this time's a bajillion. Do you know where the new Mickey 100 meet and greet is? I don't either. I probably should have looked that up before I started the stream. I can Google it. Someone might tell me. Crystal said the Odyssey. Steven, thank you. Yes. Yeah, so according to my Disney experience, Figment, uh, you can normally meet from 9 to 1230 and then 145 to 345. That's what we saw too. He's got to get to supper. Exactly. I like the Odyssey, so I don't mind going there. It says now meeting in the lobby of the Magic Eye Theater. Oh. So, all right. The lobby. Let's, we're here. Yeah. I'm glad we looked it up now. We didn't have to go very far. If you've never done the Pixar Short Film Festival, it's very cute. Obviously, you've done it before. You've seen the films. They're adorable. You can see them again. But it's worth seeing once. The Pixar shorts, they're very cute. Let's go see if Mickey and Minnie are still out. People in the chat are saying it ends at 5.30 and right now it is 5.28, so we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh yeah, I guess I'll buy the line. There they are. Uh, up, oh, closed. That's it. Oh, they're headed to the Halloween party. Yeah, they said it's five thirty, and then we get here. It's not five thirty yet. Yes. Hi. I don't know. I don't know their schedule. I don't know. I don't. I don't know the schedule. For Mickey and Minnie. They do look amazing. They do look great. Look at Minnie in her 100 gear. And we can always come back and do it. We're very fortunate. But. She's so great, isn't she? Yes. All right, well, here it is. So if you're in the lobby of the Disney and Pixar Short Film Festival, the Magic Eye Theater, used to be Captain EO. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, well, what else is there to do? Let me know in the chat because, I mean, we saw Mickey and Minnie. Oh, the pass holder magnet. Yes, we should totally do that. I got mine you got yours already? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a good magnet, too. I, don't, I mean, I don't know if you want to check I like the Oswald one. Yeah. If you're talking about it, I'll pull it out. I like it. Look at this. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, the new pass holder magnet that you can get here at Epcot. <laughs> if you're an annual pass holder, all you need is an ID and your, uh, any proof that you're an annual pass holder. You can use your phone, your magic band, your card. Also, they have the uh, new Black Cauldron. Uh, oh, that magic is Plus super band. cool. 
That is very cool. Love yeah. that. I wish they had more of the non like chargeable ones. Just released today with all the new merch that I, I sorry, we gotta go see the merch. No, we gotta go see the merch. I was say, what else? We did the new food booths. We did Mickey and Minnie. We did Soren Over California. Let's go show the merch. Yeah, we did. It did it just drop today. All their new uh, reimagined. Epcot reimagined. Can't wait. Let's go. You can see these lighting trusses up. Again, very exciting. Even though I know it's the end of September, December 5th is very close. The fact that these walls will be down and all these vehicles will be gone, the scaffolding will be gone, hopefully. It's a very exciting time here at Epcot. Also at Disney 100 popcorn bucket. We show you earlier, Marquita had one. The purple Mickey balloon, Disney 100. So how is Japan? How are those can drinks? Honestly, we were very impressed. I didn't expect to like them as much as I did, and they were delicious. The sake popsicle one looks... The sake popsicle was amazing. Honestly, even the summer one, which I thought was going to be too sweet, was very good. And her whiskey one was... Wow. Uh... It was legit. It was definitely a whiskey cocktail. But I would say three for three. Japan's usually on point. Yeah, love Japan. A hundred percent. But it's still rare for me to like everything because sometimes things are a little too sweet or kind of like the Bloody Mary where like you taste no alcohol. barbecue sauce. <laughs> So for a, a booth or a place or one specific bar to go three for three is normally pretty rare. We are very impressed. If you missed it, you can rewind the stream back to the beginning after this. But we started at the new uh, bar in Japan. It's upstairs between Teppanito and the new restaurant, uh, Shikisai. It's in the waiting area, which is nice because, you know, what? while you're waiting, you do want to have a little cocktail. Disney was missing out on money. <laughs> all over the place and all the drinks were very very good surprisingly delicious sure I'm into it there's also the three food booths on the other side of uh, creations if you cut right through uh, the Fry Basket, Coastal Eats, Earth Eats, Flavors from Fire, all are just the other side of Creation Shop. It's the new popcorn stand, well, relatively new. It's been here for a little bit, but if you haven't been here in the last year, now there's a permanent popcorn stand right here next to Creations by the World Showcase. Left? Perfect. Yeah, if you have to break away and come back, um, We saw what's so funny is we saw some of those at the pass holder thing. Oh, is this for the magnets? Oh boy, that looks like a too long of a line for me. So this line along the windows to the left. Happy birthday, Aaron. Thank you. This is fun. Prices back to normal, not the pass holder prices that we saw yes uh, Wednesday. But that's fun. Love that. Yeah, that's a great spirit jersey. $80, your standard cost for a spirit jersey, unless you're at that pass holder event. So this is going to be the new uh, Dreamers Point statue. This is the Walt statue that will sit right here behind Spaceship Earth, just behind it, behind the construction walls, which will come down hopefully soon. $95 for this statue with a limit of two. It's got some weight to it. It is very cool. I love it. There's also an ornament, which goes for $26.99. Got the kids top with that cool pattern. You can get Spaceship Earth with the Epcot logo for $125. I don't know. I think there's cool ones on Pinterest too. They're not official, but I'm just saying $125. Oh, it lights up? Get out of here. Oh, that's cool. So it has all the points of light. It normally lights up. Very cool. I like it. I like it. 
<laughs> I see you, Disney. Here's your Dooney and Burke, the new one. Look at that. A very nice bag for the low, low cost of just $268. Holy AP discount. There you go. DVC discount, AP discount. This is a, what kind of material is this? Oh, this is a, like that sweat proof material, quick dry. That's fun. You know, it's nice they have Nemo on here. Obviously, Guardians, Frozen, but. Nemo, this goes understated, and we don't do it because we lose service. But the Seas, which is here at Epcot, everyone comes to Epcot, they drink around the world, they do everything else. It's the second largest aquarium in the United States, and no one even, like, talks about it. The Seas is so understated, and it's legit. It's amazing. I highly recommend you spend some time at the Seas when you come here. Go see amazing animals. And also, go watch the magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom, and you'll see behind the scenes also here at the Seas. Oh my gosh, it's Loki. Hold on, we're getting Dooney and Burke and stuff. The Dooney and Wine, or the Dooney and Burke wine, Food and Wine Festival yes. is on sale 30% off here. Ooh. And then you get your extra 20% 20 on top of that. It's yeah, like free. If you're, an if you're a Dooney and Burke fan, there you go. Yep. I don't know anything about Dooney and Burke, so there you go. I know that they're here in the parks. Your Halloween Crocs are still out. This is the new Halloween collection. I shouldn't say new because it's been out since August, but they also have a whole Halloween section here as well. Don't lose your head. I love this. The Hocus Pocus. That's so great. All right, let's go look at some magic bands. I do like Magic Bands. I just miss the old ones. The Magic Band Plus. I either you know either Gen One or Gen Two. I like the Gen Twos, but I don't like the fact that I have to charge these. I can barely charge my phone and battery. There's just so many devices in my walls, but a lot of fun ones. Like the black cauldron, like I have. Is That's cool. The Robin Hood is great. See if I can get a good angle without a reflection. There we go. Yeah. I was gonna say. You got the Heffalumps honey right there. Another, I love this Heffalumps one. And of course. That's Horus. fun too. Of course, Horus. Clarabelle and Horus. Horus, Horus collar. And a lot of other fun. We started a lot of these Magic Band Pluses in the past, but All there is a ton of them now. I know, but I like the ones in boxes that do limited edition. I miss the limited edition ones. That's a limited release. Limited release. I like the ones that are numbered on the back. I'm yeah. such a bougie Magic Bander. It's the only thing I like collect. Like right there. Yeah. That's what I like. If there's a number on it, then I like it. That's cool. That's see, that's super cool. I love that. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I have a few that are unlinked as well that are still in boxes. They have such amazing merch that's out. It really is. They've set their merch game up. Was that the end of the Disney 100 stuff right there? I'll walk the wall to see. I just can't believe how long this magnet line is. We're going to have to do that another time. I'm glad we got to see it. Thanks to Brooke. Uh, you're a Dooney Burke fan, I can tell. But yeah, let's, let's do it. Oh, snap. The new Peter Pan. It's an amazing design. It does look beautiful. But then on the back. Lost Boys. And then they have the matching wallet. For the low, low price, still $268? Uh, that one, I believe, is $298. $298, okay. Yeah, and then the wallet is $188. Oh, boy. Yes, that annual, annual pass holder discount. 
What do you call that, a satchel? Yeah, it's a, it's like a satchel. All right. I love it. Oh, I know. That's why I'm happy you're here, because I don't know anything about the Dunia Bergstein. Uh, when I was talking about the food and wine, it's really cool because it has that Mickey and Minnie, and it's 30% off plus... 30% plus off plus your discount. So if you use your discount on top of the 30% off, it's 166 That's not bad. Look at that. No. This is why I'm happy you're here. Very and nice. Of course, they have the smaller bag if you like smaller bags. I will say, I, I was a big watch guy for many years. I've stepped back in the last few, but... I went to Magic Kingdom and I was looking for some cool watches, like you see here. None of them fit my wrist. They were like, you have to order them online. I don't know if I just have a fat wrist. I, that's what I wanted. So I wanted both of these. I like the blue and the... Yeah, of course the blue is more expensive. So I was, I think I picked this one out. I bought my, I was buying myself a birthday present and it didn't fit my wrist when I was at the Magic Kingdom. So I said, all right, never mind. Also, these are annual pass holder exclusive. Oh. These are, they have the, what is it, Magic Key? Is that what it is? Okay. And they also have annual pass holders. Oh. So these are exclusive for annual pass holders. These totes are. And they're That's amazing. fun. And the design is awesome. It's got all the characters on it. And this is actually new. So they usually have like Dooney and Burke yeah, on here. Yeah, I like that. Here. And this, they don't actually have the Dooney and Burke on there. So I'm learning things. Really and I love them. I actually think they're super cool. I just... Thank I mean, God I don't pricey, have the Dooney and Burke collection. There you go. Annual pass the way to go, or become friends with an annual pass holder, or just hang out with one, make friends with one in line, have them buy it for you, Venmo them the money. I know I've done it in the past. Try to help people out. Yeah, we give Disney plenty of money. <laughs> yeah, of course. I get it. Believe me. I don't know if we've seen this one yet, but that's fun because I like all the characters down there. I love it. Love Band Leader Mickey. They had the Band Leader Mickey lounge flies for those lounge fly collectors. Band Leader Mickey lounge flies were like 70% off over at the Pass Holder event this week. What? I haven't yeah, seen this really one. Awesome. This, is awesome. this is super cool. I love it. This Disney is Afternoon. That is awesome. Yeah, I knew. I was waiting for you, Robert D. I knew he was a huge Dooney collector. He says we have a large display of Dooney's in our house. Yes. Yeah. Rescue Rangers, love that. They're in the hot air balloon. That's yeah. what this is. I at first I thought it was just a nose. It looks like it does Dale's look like nose. nose. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the back. Oh, that's fun. You can see the back of the balloon. There you go. Where is it here? Let's see if we could find this lounge fly. I do love Dr. Teeth. All right, we'll check it out. Here's more of those. Also, Mickey Rubik's Cube for the Disney 100. I know we got some Rubik's people out there. Here's the 100 lounge flies. These are really neat too. I like these a lot. Holly Gray checking in from Kingston, North Carolina. What's up, Holly? Happy birthday. Your birthday's the same as mine, August 29th. Happy birthday. Look at that. Happy birthday. Yes. Dawn loves that Peter Pan bag. <laughs> He just said it took everything for me to walk out of this store the last time I was here without purchasing things. Yeah. It's tough. They, they're they stepping up their merch game. Oh, 
Oh, they do have the Dr. King. All right, let's head over. Thank you. Oops, sorry. Oh, I love this one. I did see this and I love it. This is so cool. I'm a big fan of this. Yeah, it's great. And it's got this friend on the side, which is great. You have Janice's mouth. <laughs> so good. If anyone hasn't seen it on Disney Plus, go check out the new uh, Muppet, Dr. Teeth, Mayhem. Yeah. yeah. We got the Stitch. Yeah. Being Strong is Fabulous. Yes, from Encanto. Mickey Backpacks. I'm so sorry. They got the new uh, Little Mermaid Lounge Flies. Love this. Then Stitch and then the Incredibles. And yeah, the Incredibles and then the, uh, they've had this one for a while, I think. But yeah, you can also get this one at Disney Springs. If for some reason you can't make it into Disney, you can go to Disney Springs. They Good call. Have this at Disney Springs. Look at you. I'm so glad you're here. I have a whole bag expert. Lounge flies, doonies. <laughs> it's a good point, though. If you can't get into the parks or you want to go purchase things, Disney Springs does have the World of Disney Store, which is a great spot to go check it out. And also, you can go to shopdisney.com. What else? I mean, I kind of want to see how far this magnet line goes. Yeah, it's still going. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to wait for the magnets. Oh, they come in here. All right, so this is the end of the line. This is where they're doing the magnet distribution. They won't run out. I'll come back and get it another time. I'm not going to wait in this line. Where? Let's go. So here's the magnet distribution. We're going to check it out now. But there's those magnets. And this is where you can get them. We'll come back and get them later. It's too much right now. Yes, the Decades Collection here at Disney. Uh, they've been going decade by decade, and now we're in the 90s. Wow. If you're an Ears fan, you know. I know there's a lot of Ears fans out there. With the rose petals mm -hmm. that uh, move around as well. They're loose inside. For rose petals? I don't know. again. Spread your own rose petals. And they're 40 bucks. It started in the 20s, we're up to the 90s. Yeah, now we're at the 90s. We just released the 90s. Oh. My favorite. Who's that, Darkwing? Darkwing. Yes. That's awesome. I think you could barely see his eyes. It's so great. Yeah. Yeah, I was pretty excited. That's fun. Sorry, whenever they dropped the... The new decade. The 90s is my favorite decade as well. That, that's when Disney was really happening. You know? it was like, Everything that was, was happening. I mean, that's when we had... You uh, have Aladdin. You have Beauty and the Beast. You Little have, Mermaid. Yeah, you have all the... All the ones that are, what I would say, iconic These classics. These are Vera Bradley. So if you're a Vera Bradley... Vera Bradley. So many different... So, yeah. If you're a Vera Bradley fan, so, oh, and a Snow oh, White fan, I think this is always just Very neat. Wonderful yeah. Bag. And this is a, I guess this is just an array of different characters. Coming. I call these the Mary Poppins bag, uh, but very rather. Uh, wow, I didn't even notice that. If her red just continued down, she'd look just like me, red face wise. Like we have the same complexion, the red face. So they have, they have this one, this beer Bradley, and on the other side, I believe they have a, like a Mickey and Minnie. Here's uh, the Snow White. Yeah. yeah. You are correct. Yep. Yeah, so Mickey and Minnie. Vera getting in on the Disney game. I'm throwing things off. Sorry. Wow, I'm even if you pick it up, things. it starts chirping? I'm breaking oh. things. Wasn't us. Wasn't us. It was already like that. We also have this. As Shaggy said, it was me. Oh, over the shoulder. Love that. Yeah, so 75 bucks. Like I can tell, and I love it because I'm learning so many things. That's why I like to have people on the channel with me or I'm like, yes, because I just do the same stuff. I never take the time to appreciate bags. Like, look at all these bags. So these are the new Minnie and Mickey in park lounge guys. That I, they just started putting them out like the other day. So like this, we'll, we'll do Mickey first because I mean, he's Mickey. Of so course. This one. It's wonderful. They also have a matching wallet for it. They don't have it here, I don't believe, but... 
just Mickey. Let's see. Hold on. For those of you who really like long flies, there's usually something inside. Wait a minute. There we oh, go. snap. That's the inside. Look at that lining. It's amazing. And then, of course, you have the mini. The mini is The mini is super cool. Love it. I totally agree. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's what's her lining? It's her. Oh, it's the classic looking snazzy. Yep. And the all black everything. Mickey Prince. <laughs> this is cute. Yeah, I would say the Happily Ever After collection here. You got Mickey, you got Tank, the fireworks over the castle. And there you go, you got Tank and fireworks on the inside. That's fun. We saw the Stitch. And we saw the new Little Mermaid ones. Love it, love it, love it. And if you are allowed Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right. Phenomenal. Look at these. Have you seen the new uh, Star Wars, like the Bantha Burger bag? No. Oh, they're, they're are like they here too? Boxes? No, they're at uh, um, Springs? No, uh, they're at Hollywood. Oh, okay. That was my next guess. Uh, right when you get off of Star Wars. That's where you can find it. We'll be at studios later this week. Again, make sure you're subscribed. You got that bell on. Hit all notifications so you don't miss any of the live streams. This is the Star Wars section here. Pixar over there. This used to be the old mouse gear. For those who remember mouse gear, where we were standing right now, this would be like the turn you used to make before you saw the gadgets in the ceiling. But again, things change. I'm, I'm, I still like this. I like this open format. It's fun, easy to get around. I think connections... Oh, that's, wow. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Yeah. It's I'm a amazing. fan of that. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty amazing. Well, do you know what it retails for? It is $90. Okay. A little, uh, it's a little up there, but it's very cool. So it's like 70s. And it's when 70s I think about it, it yeah. Hi. Dun, 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 dun. All right. How we go. Happy birthday, Chess. Thank you, thank you. Take your kids to Epcot, have them go on a playground. It's packed. Out here, outside of Creation Shop and the New Connections uh, area, you have a few different booths. You have Coastal Eats hanging out right here. Straight ahead is the fries, and to the right is flavors from fire. What is that? I'm a fan of all three of these booths. Have you not had it? We'll I head over there. All right. Well, I've had it in, in the past, but I haven't had it this They time. brought back some classics. There's some new stuff. Let's go take a look. It looks like they have a burger. From here, it looks like that. I don't know if that's true or not. Let's see. We'll go to nope, the one with pictures. Just, um, nope, that's right. It's, that's just saying that they have plant-based food. Uh, well, no. It's the Impossible Burger Slider. With a wasabi so cream, so spicy Asian slaw on a sesame seed bun. Then you got that smoked corned beef. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. The house made potato chips, cheese curds, pickled onions, beer cheese fondue. The chimichurri marinated steak taco, also so good. You got that skirt steak, the crushed avocado, grilled corn salsa, pickled red onions, queso fresco, cilantro, lime, cream, and that spiced chocolate tart. I'm not a dessert person, but I hear that this is delicious. You got a barbecue potato chip crust. Salted whiskey caramel and smoked sea salt. And then that bonfire beer, they, they brought that back. They brought back the Zin and the Swine Brine. So all three of these drinks we had last year, I've actually had them this year as well. They're all delicious. The only thing that's different is the prices have gone up a little bit. But the beer is good. It does taste like a bonfire if you want to taste a bonfire in your mouth. The Zin is big, herbaceous, uh, fills your whole mouth. you got bourbon in there. It is a mouthful. And the Swine Brine. I have had that is uh do you want anything from here um 
It's up to you. Here, Coastal Fries. So there's Coastal here and Fries to the right. Where do you want to go first? Well, Fries is bumping. All right. That's Coastal Eats. No line at Coastal, though. Well, I was going to say, if you want. All right, let's go to Coastal first. Uh, either one. Either one. Either one. Let's try Coastal Eats. No line here at Coastal Elites. You have that lump crab cake, the Oysters Rockefeller. You got a cuvee from Australia. The Cape Cotter, which is a Boyd and Blair potato vodka with cranberry, pomegranate, and lime. And then they sell the cork skull flutes. Are you into any of this? Um, the crab cake sounds good. All right, let's do it. So we're just outside of Creation Shop. You can see the monorail, Flavors from Fire. Test Track, if you're looking for another point of reference, Test Track's right there. Test Track getting reimagined. Hey, what's going on, Rebecca? Doing great, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna try the Cape Cotter and a crab cake, please. I think that's it, anything else? Uh, Adventures by Carney. We're live right now. We're hanging out. I love it. Thanks, Rebecca. So, Grand Canyon University, where is that? Love it. I wish I knew where either of those two streets were, but I'll just take your word for it. Phoenix lines up on like major roads. Like, nice, like Manhattan. I love my, it. My dad just got back from Mesa, so okay, that's fun. Right, right there. Right in the circle yep. of Phoenix. <laughs> love it. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca. Appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Actually, I believe he's in Gilbert, Arizona, which is right outside of Mesa. Gilbert. Yeah. I don't think we've tried these on the channel yet, so I'm excited. How you doing, Karina? Fantastic, thank you. Also, if you want a coffee, there's a Joffrey's around the corner. There is. There's one right by, for those who are wondering, Joffrey's right by uh, Guardians. Guardians. Yeah. On your way to Guardians. I just kept thinking Mission Breakout, but I was like, I can't get to Guardians in my yeah. head. But it's not Mission Breakout either. It's Cosmic Rewind, but I Cosmic just Rewind. think Mission Breakout. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind. My favorite ride here. Thank you. Look at that. That was great. That is one. It's actually a very hefty crab cake. It looks great. This is what Maryland does. Crab cakes and football. I'm going to let you carry the Cape Cotter. The crab stuff. Oh. Cotter, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see if we can find uh, a spot. Just a spot to sit, eat, drink. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got a spot. Bingo, bango, bongo. Turn this, turn the beat around. Hey, everybody. Let's get the sun out of there. All right, this is perfect. You can see the Coast Elites board right here as we enjoy Coast Elites. So we went with the lump crab cake with a Cajun spiced vinegar slaw. It was $7, which isn't bad. That's a nice size crab cake for $7. And we also got the cocktail, the Cape Cotter, for 12 bucks. And I like lime ju uh, lemon juice, so I'm just gonna make it rain. A little bit of lemon. Freshens everything up. Love it. Magic's happening. Sure. I'm gonna let you do the honors. All right. Here we go. 
know, I want to cut it decent because, I mean, I kind of want to see the inside, you know? Looks good. Yeah. I'm into it. It's a good crab cake. Yeah, it looks amazing. I've always been a fan of Coastal Lee since it debuted back in 2017. Big fan. Mm. Yeah, that's good. The Cape Cotter is very good, too. I would say it's just the right blend. It's fine. Of uh, uh, mixers to alcohol. You could taste the alcohol, which I think is important when you're spending $12 on a cocktail at Disney. This is very good. All right, let's try this crab cake. It's good because it doesn't have like a, you know, it's, it's very nice. They're yeah. very seafood and it's not. No, this is beautifully it's done. Great. Big fan of this crab cake. Yeah, this is actually maybe their best version of it that I've had. And I think yeah, they brought this I back. Mean, the size of it, like. Look at the size of this crab cake. I mean, next to my head, it doesn't look that big, but I mean, look at that. That's a pretty thick crab cake. Right? It's legit. It's very good, too. It's tasty. It's well seasoned. I'm a big fan. I think this is definitely worth the value. There's some things this festival where uh, you guys didn't see it, but I was, while I was waiting at guest relations, I had people behind me going like, oh, where's Brazil? And I was like, oh, you passed it. They were trying to look on a map. I was like, oh, it's between France and Morocco. It's right next, you know, Brazil and Belgium are next to each other. Kind of set back. They're like, oh, it's the only we missed. We really wanted to do the frozen Caprinha. Is it worth walking back? And I said, well, everyone's different. But I think it's very tasty. It's delicious. But for what you get compared to the value, I think it's in a very small vessel. I said for what they charge you, it's a lot of money for a little bit. So for me, it's kind of a one and done, but it's very good. So I don't know if that gives you any information on if it's worth walking back. But this, I would say... It's probably the same price, if not cheaper, than the frozen caprinha, and you get a lot more volume. There's and I get taste flavor of alcohol, but not—it's not, not overpowering. Yeah, it's not overwhelming. So the alcohol in this is that I know it's there, but it's not all alcohol. So I should state that. But compared to like the Bloody Mary, where all we tasted was just tomato and barbecue sauce, and yeah. it was hard to drink. It's the first drink I've ever let go in the garbage at Epcot in it my was entire literally life. Literally, like you took water and barbecue sauce and kind of. Yeah, if you just like put a tomato, barbecue sauce, and water in a cup and mashed it, that's what it tasted like. There was no alcohol. I didn't taste anything to cut any of that, and that's why Bloody Marys, you know, are good in the morning. They kind of cuts through all that stuff. This, I would say, is a good value. It's still twelve dollars, but you get a nice big cup. This looks like it's either ten to twelve ounces, and you could taste that there's alcohol in there, but it doesn't overwhelm the drink. I think it's a very good point. Mm. I'm a fan of the Cape Codder and the crab cake. Please have more, because I can't waste yeah, no, more food. Yeah, I've, I've been eating some, but... And what is this? Is this coleslaw? What is this? That is a Cajun spiced vinegar slaw. Okay. I'll try some, too. Ooh, I dropped it. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm normally not a slaw person. It's not really in my wheelhouse. But I think the Cajun and the vinegar... Again, add something to it. Yeah, it has Sometimes the foods are just under seasoned at a lot of these events, and that I'm going to say the crab cake and the slaw, but it's they're not nice. Really slaw like, it doesn't have like that it doesn't have a normal. heavy mayo. Yeah, a lot of slaws you associate with like a heavy mayo taste or like it's dripping that white goo. This is clean. It's just shredded lettuce. It's like even like when you pick meat. it up, like there's nothing dripping, which is nice out of a slaw. It's almost like a pickle. Like, yeah, it it's that vinegar. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's good. And I think the vinegar is nice because it, it helps. It goes well with the crab cake. So where the crab cake with the slaw pair beautifully together. It's just a good crab cake. It's a good crab cake. That's mm -hmm. all we can say. It's a good crab cake. Mmm. All right, let me see if I missed anything while we finish this crab cake. Are you going to the fries? I saw you taking a step, or no? No, I'm just packing oh. up. Uh, Say it again? Oh, this is the Cape, Cape Cotter. Cotter. It's good, it's vodka and cranberry, and it's yummy. 
beer, vodka. Not sweet. It's not overly sweet. Yeah, I'm not a sweet person. I mean, I would like to think I'm a sweet person, but I'm not a sweets person. I should pluralize it. Yeah, that's... We're live right now. What are you celebrating? Oh, I love it. Got the pin on to celebrate Disney's 100th. I love it. What I want to do is... I miss over California. Yeah. It's, it's the OG. It's the OG, for sure. Yeah, it's been about six years or so, yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. We call that the old pre-pandemic days. That was a whole generation ago. Uh, what's going on, James Vaughn? Mailbox? I don't know if that's your real name, but what a cool name. Suzanne Ritchie's in the house. We love the Ritchie clan. Said, loving this merch review. This is awesome. Yeah, that's all thanks to Brooke, not me. Um, she, I'm happy to have a, a bag expert and people who know what they're talking about. Because I'm not in the merch world. I'm in the Disney parks, fun facts, rides, attractions, shows, and food. Merch, I, re I rely on others. And Brooke is absolutely crushing it. <laughs> Mark Mueller said, I can tell you those are not real Maryland crab cakes, but they are good. They're very, I mean, listen, as a New Yorker, there's a lot of things that aren't, I mean, the whole Italy pavilion, come on. But, <laughs> but if you can get it close, it's still kind of, it gets a little bit of the magic, you know? Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I'm going to say Ange says, thanks for the merch review. There you go. A lot of people loving the merch. So thank you, Brooke. That was awesome. Um, while we're here, I will say, let's just let's wrap it up. We've been live for uh, 230 minutes. Let me do some math. If 180 is three hours, and we added 60, I mean 240, wow, we're 10 minutes away from four hours. Look at that, I did math. But I think this is a great point, uh, great point, great point to say uh, thank you so much for watching. I see people are going to do their Friday night thing. It is after, it's almost 6.15 here on Orlando, Florida. We've been live since a little after two. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thanks for tuning in. It was a crazy week. So thank you for an amazing week. If you missed anything or if you're looking for more content, you're still here hanging out, even though we might wrap up this video in a few minutes. We were live uh, from the new studio in the uh, house on Monday. Go check it out. Mix It Up Mondays, episode one. Mix It Up Mondays, episode two drops Monday, we do it live at noon. We're gonna be live every single Monday, noon Eastern. Come hang out with us, come chill. Uh, Tuesday, we were at uh, the Magic Kingdom. We were doing some bear hunting. We were out there looking for some bears, having a great time. We did a bunch of rides, a bunch Which, of attractions. Way, I heard that they, they peacefully let the bear out. Yeah, the beer the was up in a Popka National Forest. Uh, and it ran out. You can go see the footage from uh, the Florida Wildlife Commission. They let the bear go. It was a female black bear. It wasn't that big. I would say, again, I think it was a smaller bear. I hope she re, uh, you know, meets up with some other bears and has a great time. Want to thank all the moderators here. Thanks, just, just mousing around. Said thanks to all the moderators. But I totally agree. Thanks to all the moderators. Thanks to everybody who hit the like button. We're only 12 likes away from 200. So, I mean, we can make it happen just right now on the outro. We're hanging out for a little bit. So if you haven't hit the like button yet, now's the time. If you're watching in the future, you can also hit the like button. Uh, what else are we going to say? We're doing a meetup October 1st through the 4th. If you're here in town, if you're a local, or if you're here on vacation, come hang out with us, please. It is free. You don't have to sign up. You just show up and hang out with us. The full schedule is at adventuresbycarney.fun. Instead of .com, .fun. That's right, F-U-N, baby. Let's go. So go check that out. Also there is where you can get your merch. If you're looking for hats, tank tops, T-shirts, Water bottles. We got these awesome water bottles. Just a few of these left. This is a limited run. I think there's just five or five or so left. Uh, I love these because they fit in your pocket. They fit in your cup holder. They're not super bulky, but they keep your hots hot, your cold cold all day long. This is still ice cold from this morning, and uh, just a big fan. They're made by Dugout Mugs, sixty million dollar company. Uh, thanks to Bill for making this happen. A few more left. Highly recommend. I think they're thirty five all in, shipped to your door. But yeah, you'll never break these. You can drop these a thousand times nothing will happen what else is going on that's the merch socials my 
follow me between the streams. I'm gonna be at Epcot the rest of the night, so I'm probably gonna post some ridiculous videos. We're probably gonna drink a little bit, probably gonna have a little bit of fun. If you wanna see all the nonsense, you gotta follow the Instagram, at Official Carney on Instagram. I'll probably put some stuff on Twitter as well. That's where I put my theme park stuff, whether it's here, Universal, SeaWorld. Uh, Twitter is at your WDW guy. The TikTok, got I mean, that's where all the kids hang out, right? TikTok's Adventures by Carney. And the Patreon, huge shout out to the Patreon. Uh, I love all my Patreons out there. Without them, there wouldn't be a channel. Honestly, they're the best. Thank a Patreon, hashtag thank a Patreon. But become one if you wanna check it out. Just go to patreon.com backslash adventures by Carney. And if you're able to support, I appreciate it. I know it's not for everybody, but if you're able to, it means the world to me. So thank you so much. Uh, thanks to everybody who just drops, whether it's Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. I'm going to be thanking everybody in a post uh, over the weekend or Monday. And we'll thank you on the live show as well. Again, we're going to be live next week, Monday and Tuesday. You don't want to miss it. Make sure you're subscribed. You got that bell on. Hit all notifications so you don't miss a single stream. You'll get notified. We don't spam. We don't do anything like that. We don't ask for money. And if anyone ever does, it's not me. It happened once, and it wasn't me. I just am happy you're here. And uh, if you weren't here, I wouldn't have a channel. So thank you very, very much. I hope you had an amazing week. And I hope you have the best weekend ever. I think I plugged everything. Thank you for being here, Brooke. I appreciate it. Brooke, our new merch expert and our Texas representative. Love having you here. Please come back and hang out. Yes. And uh, yeah, if you're ever in town, come up and say hi. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to hang with you. And that's it. That's all I got. I got one other favor to ask. Do me one big favor. And please be kind to one another. I'll see you guys real soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.